Here we are, episode three. Here we are. Here we are. I hope you guys like that intro music. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. That was Max Bolton on the intro music. You could also check him out with Tori with the War Times. Yep. Yep. Um, today's episode is going to be about the uh, tarot cards. <laughs> now, once again, if you are brand new to the show, uh, I'm the open minded skeptic, and Tori believes everything. Everything. And absolutely everything. <laughs> everything. Absolutely everything. Two plus two is six. Okay. <laughs> Um, you know what? I'll, I'll entertain the thought. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then we are joined today by, I mean, this, I, now I have this guy here like 14 times a week. Hi. Out of my six podcasts, I think he's part of everyone but one. Yeah. Uh, Andy Header. Hello. Uh, Andy's part Hello. of our Tornado Tag podcast. We talk pro wrestling. Yes. Andy himself is a professional wrestler. That's true. Uh, and uh, he is also part of Not Cool in High School, so he is also a professional nerd as well with me. Yes. Were you also not cool in high school? Yes, I was. I was, <laughs> I was not cool at all. I, I never even went to one party, so there. Yeah, yeah. me either. Um, so Andy is also very much into the paranormal, supernatural, occult, occult yeah, world, and cryptics. So he's, he's going to be joining us here and there on the show whenever he can. Uh, so mm-hmm. if you guys like what you hear, make sure you hit that like, follow, share it. If you're watching this now, hit the share button. Let people know we are here. Mm-hmm. We do have a Facebook page you can follow, as well as a Facebook group where this is that's more interactive with everybody, so you can go in and hang out. Uh, and we do have merchandise. We have merch now, yeah, and it's cool. Exciting. Yeah, it's really cool. Tori, Tori made some awesome, awesome logos, yeah. so, so you can buy her amazing merch, and it's on the I shirts. I told Tony, like, she's, she's the fine there, a good yeah. talker, Aww. and she does all the art. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, she's, have her do the art from now on for everything. It's a super, she's a superstar. Um, <laughs> That's right. Take, take a, swig of, a swig of beer for the working man. Yeah. <laughs> what, then, cryptid, what cryptid are you going to want me to draw you as? Oh, jeez. I don't know. They take, take time to think okay, about it. Okay, we'll have to it. think about it. We'll have yeah. to think so about that. Oh, my God. For every guest. <laughs> If you guys in the chat know some mm-hmm. cryptids and you look at Andy and say, Nessie. He, he would be a good <laughs> Nessie. <Nessier. laughs> <Yeah. long> <laughs> Just a long neck. Um, so the thing is, is we did have our first guest, Max, uh, mm-hmm. get get monstered out or yep. spooky-fied. He was, or have, he was or have a demon. Or so he told us on the podcast he had a story when he was a kid where his mom went up <laughs> yeah. to him. and she He was had, a black-eyed kid. He had black eyes, yeah. <laughs> So we made him a black eyed demon. demon. That's pretty uh, cool. So if you're a guest on the show, not only do you get your uh, image done, mm-hmm. but we put it on t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeves, a zip up hoodie, zip we'll up hoodie? A st- sticker, as well as a canvas. That's not supposed to happen. What was that? We're Ooh. now being followed. Did we just followed. level up? We did. We leveled up. So we're being followed <laughs> we leveled now. leveled up. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you'll get, and then a canvas print. So yeah. now the shirts and hoodies I did Regular, which is like a cheaper shirt or a premium. Oh, not trying premium. to. I'm not trying to sway you to the, it's the, so the more expensive. It's, so soft, it's a much though. better shirt and hoodie. So I'm telling nice. you. Yeah. Um, so you can grab those if you want to. If you want to check it out, and all proceeds make the uh, podcast better. We mm-hmm. get better microphones. We are in the new new need for new headphones. But uh, Papa Trump said possibly <laughs> new <laughs> stimulus. Trump. New stimulus. Papa Trump check. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> new stimulus check might be coming. So that'll be new headphones. Hey, give me that stimulus check. Yeah, that'll be brand new Thank headphones you, for Mr. us. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Thank you, Papa Trump. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Very yeah. welcome. Very welcome. I did that. Your stimulus <laughs> check. Your stimulus check is going to be huge. It was all me. <laughs> a lot of people said. 
Everyone yeah. tells me. They told me. They told me don't do it, but I said I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do it's, it. It's gonna be the best one ever. That's kind of like that's like a De Niro. Yeah, yeah that's a I like back. turned into yeah. Robert De Niro a little bit. It's hard to keep sometimes, and you yeah. know, when you talk like Trump, you have to yeah. turn your mouth mm-hmm. into a new butthole. Yeah, and this, everything's the best ever. This podcast just turned into us just going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I didn't know it was a, a, a politics cop. Podcast. It is not politics, but we're just trying to get the money uh, from, from Papa Trump. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we have a lot of cool stuff. Thank you guys oh, so boy. much. This is only episode three. We'll try to keep it more. Uh, we won't take our little oh, there's a butterfly tangents, but no, th- I think those are charming. We, I think people watch for that. That's yeah, we, what I'm we promise say. nothing. I'll, 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 I'll steer you back. I'm like, hey, 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 yeah. car. <laughs> Get like a spray bottle. Yeah. Like, hey, hey. <laughs> stop it. Um, throw, I actually throw the cards at you. Stop. Start, start talking about this. <laughs> um, so do you have now? Just to kind of give people, I know I know the answer to this, but maybe a lot of people don't. Um, what is your experience in the paranormal world? Have you ever, ever had an so, experience? What is your belief system? I would love to have something, anything. I have had <laughs> next to nothing. I, I wish. Okay. I want to see something so bad. You know, those people say, well, when you want to see it, you will. I, I never do. I almost feel like, like Tony said, he's empathic. I'm mm-hmm. the opposite. Like, I walk in, everything just stops. The, no. the supernatural record stops for me. <laughs> I was like... Anything, please? I don't know. He What's went up? on a ghost hunt in, Blooms- in, in, in Gettysburg, and they're like, this is like the most haunted. And yeah. they didn't even finish their sentence, and Andy's walking in. Yeah. He's like, please. he's like, if you want to, but that's where people die. He's like, just walk in and take pictures. And like, no one's like, well, I'm going in. Because I said, Tony, if something happens, I'm famous. I get a movie. I get a book deal. Like, I'll be the owner. Is that guy that got his arm cut off at the Gettysburg. From the go- like, that's, you know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm all about it. The only thing I ever had was one time at the at the beach. Did you ever hear the the shaking bed thing? Yeah. And I don't know if it's if it's the waves and the beach houses are up. Mm-hmm. I, I experienced that twice. And I, I remember I thought it was my friends. I was like, hey, stop it. Mm-hmm. You know? And I got up and they were all outside. And I got up and looked around the bed. I was like, what, what's going on? Yeah. Right, and so it just... was like really shaking and then it stopped. But that was it. Yeah. So I'd love to see something. But I unfortunately I haven't seen anything. I just got a, she just, I just got a, hey, where did you guys go? Oh, really? No, it's still going. It's still going on our end. I don't know mm-hmm. if something happened on your guy. Uh, is anyone else having issues with the stream? Can you still see everything going on? Let us know in the chat. Um, so yeah, let me let me we'll dive into this. We got all that fun stuff out of the way, the merchandise and all that. Uh, if the, the links are below. We, you can go check us out on all social media. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like a link T account. Uh, yeah. It's for the IWP network and also for um, the podcast. It's going to be our merch page there. Donations. Um, I don't have it set up yet for. Uh, donations on the stream Mm -hmm. there is a way that if you hit like a donation i know it's for twitch if you're on twitch it's easier to do it but if you do it i don't know how it's going to work when it comes to it but it i usually i the paypal is set up to the donation so your name will pop up so all those little moons above us they're all like donations newest streamer newest Mm -hmm. follower but we'll have all that worked out soon i can like yeah yeah the cat's up there we don't have a banner yet so the uh the cat (laughs) Another follower. <gasps> this is awesome. It's all. It's all Tori. It's a girl. This no. is a show with a girl. So <laughs> let's go. With that it's right. that. It's that. Uh, that Twitch thing where it's just like, oh, there's a girl and there's automatically more views. Yeah, it's all, yeah. you're doing already fantastic. <laughs> um, so let's let's get into it here. So I'm not gonna read oh, everything. I'm reading here is from the uh, Wikipedia, mm-hmm. um, but I'm not gonna go through the whole history of everything. I'm just gonna kind of give a general idea. Um, so Tara is first known as. Uh, Tara Lichi or Tara Tar- 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 on Fi T R I R T R I O N F I, later known as oh. Tarachi yeah. or Tarek, is a pay- is a pay- pack of playing cards used from the mid 15th century in various parts of Europe to play such games as Italian uh, Italian games or French tarot, and uh, also in Australia it was used very heavily. Uh, many of which are still played today. In the late 18th century, some tarot cards began being used for uh, uh, tarot card reading and Car- cardomancy? Cardomancy. Cardomancy. Car- cartomancy, which uh, would be like magic with cards. All right. And leading uh, custom decks developed for such occult purposes. Um, and then I'm trying to get into the big name here. I know there's some big names that people, they pretty much like a lot of it was... Some uh, eating gray lady, but I couldn't really find information on her. Yeah, well, she, was, she yeah. was like the one who um, really did like the art for the cards and stuff. And oh, not her. her. Yeah. The, so the lady that did the, your favorite deck there, the one you Morgan have? Greer. Yeah. Yeah. That art is like the original art from like what nineteen twelve or something mm-hmm. like that. Something like, like that. Uh, yeah. That or it might be the Rider Weight deck. Okay. Because yeah. the Morgan Greer is another one. Then there's the Rider Weight, which is I think may have been like the first. Um, I, I could be wrong because mm-hmm. I'm not very much a tarot scholar as yes. I am much a tarot <laughs> practitioner. So you probably have more history on it than I do. Yeah. But I do. I'm pretty sure that the the Rider Weight deck. My mom actually has that deck. Hi, mom. 
Um, um, that's pretty much the original. The OG. The OG yeah. one. And then, like, there's others, like the Morgan Greer and all other So stuff. I switched over from the tarot card history because, you know, I, I do want people to know that it was used as a playing card. So, mm-hmm. yeah, there so, was no, so when my like, skepticism comes in later, I'm going to be like, well, let's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's there, a playing yeah, card. They didn't thing. use it for a predicting the future <laughs> yeah, yeah. of any so sort. So now the tarot later. card reading practice of tarot cards uh, to gain insight into the past, present, or future by formulating a question and then drawing uh, interpretation cards and reading the tarot cards as a type of... Uh, Cartomancy, or however you say it. I'm you a, got it. I'm a dummy. One of the uh, no, earliest not, references to uh, tarots are, are probably the first reference of tarot uh, being used as Devil's Pictures book. <laughs> there we go. Um, We're there talking it about is. Devil. In the, them damn funny books. <laughs> Burn them. Um, in, the, uh, in the 14th century, a Dominican preacher in a uh, uh, ceremony against the evils and the devil's instrument refers to tarot as a social plague uh, <laughs> continuing through the 16th and 17th centuries. <laughs> the kids uh, are doing drugs because of that. <laughs> yep. Um, so before, you know, yeah, this was this was uh, definitely... They always as, blame on something. Yeah. Dungeons mm-hmm. and Dragons. Yep. Mm-hmm. Star Wars in the 70s. Like, so when yeah. I was a kid, we went to a beach house and there was a whole bunch of like board games and it was like a giant bookshelf and I went through all the shelves because you know you're a kid you're going to explore it's like a beach house and I found a Ouija board and a pack of tarot cards and they were immediately taken off us (laughs) they're like you're not messing this vacation up by summoning a (laughs) demon you're already the devil Um, (laughs) so so from what another I'm just going to kind of rip off memory here because I don't want to just sit and read a but other stuff I found out, you know, there was, it was, uh, they the art was originally one thing and then the art was changed to be more open to like uh, interpretation before, mm-hmm. like if there were the seven, I think there's a seven cups yep. before it was just seven cups on a, like, and now they added an art, art design to it. Mm-hmm. So it was easier for the reader kind of to yep. see the picture and kind of develop mm-hmm. your interpretation. Yeah. Um, what are the two types of cards, Andy? Major Arcana and Minor Arcana. Yes. So they, now I know that the major ones are for major events in your life and the minors are ways to kind of set up to get to that point. Yeah. I mean, they could, they could be. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are people that honestly, they just use the Major Arcana from the deck, the to-do readings. Um, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. So, I mean... You could see, let's see what card I pull out. Like, you could see the chariot card. Oh, how about that? Um, you could see the chariot card. Spooky. And, and <laughs> that's, a, that's a podcast. Ghosts. There you <laughs> like, go. Like, you could see the chariot card. And now there's a, there's a, a like, a textbook definition of it. But mm-hmm. then there's also, I mean, it's up into interpretation for you and as me as the reader. So, like, because um, I was thinking about this earlier today. And it was just a matter, it's a matter of, say, um, when you think of the color red, mm-hmm. what emotion do you tie to the color red? Um, only because of Looney Tune cartoons and bulls, <laughs> it usually means anger or frustration or, like, warning. Mm-hmm. What about you? I would say because of Green Lantern and there's the, so, not to get off on a tangent. Go ahead. All the different colors of the have emotion attached to them. Red yes. is rage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so see, and I think of red as like deep passion and love. Okay. So it's like color. So we're angry white boys. <laughs> we're <laughs> angry white boys, and I'm here with with, with my hippie shit. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it's even something as simple as color means a million different things to a million different mm-hmm. people. It's yeah. Like, it's like a Robert Frost poem. Sorry. Like I see the color like, black and the number thirteen, and I think this is cool. And other people are like, oh my god. And I think, yeah. oh, Taz is coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 a matter of um, like. It's, it's subjective, and I know tarot in itself and other divination is people, it gets knocked for being subjective, but that is what it is. How are you going, yeah. how are you going to relate to this reading if you don't relate to it? And so yeah. it's that, I'm going back to the, the point where um, this could mean so many different things for so many different people, and they make the, the artwork as subjective and almost base. There's a lot of detail in it, but I mean, is it's open into interpretation. Yes. So it's, it's, it's like, not just like, here's an app. Yeah, no. exactly. And so for someone like, because I, I consider myself an, an intuitive reader, like an intuitive empathic reader. So I also get symbols or like ideas that come mm-hmm. through. So if they show me the color red, meaning anger, they're not going to do that because I see it as like uh, love. Okay. So it's, symbolism and colors and everything is subjective and everybody's way is right because it's, it's like your fingerprint. So, I mean, it's so, I mean, there is like the, the, the very base standard of it, but when it comes to like what things mean and what minor versus major arcana are, it's just pieces to a whole, the whole spectrum. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and then some cards have different meetings depending on if it's face up or I mean upside down or mm -hmm. right side up. Yeah, and well, you when can you do draw that it, too. yeah, okay. like so, like if um, if I draw that one, it's all however like I pull it out, like the stars reverse and boobies. Oh, oh hey, boobies, now. Are, boobies are facing me. Oh, hey, there you go. Hey. There you go. <laughs> but um, it's and some people, and that's another. She subjective was very thing thirsty. Too. That she's like, I need to go get water. She's the right water now. bearer. This is Aquarius. <laughs> Leave her alone. She was like, listen. I don't have time for clothes. I am thirsty. <laughs> I got to bear this water right now. <laughs> Water's important. Maybe she was going to give the water to her people. Come on now. Come Let's on look now. at both sides of this. As she's dumping it in the stream. <laughs> wow. Well, that was bad water people. from earlier. <laughs> it's the tainted she's like, water. like, my house is on fire. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but real sexy. Like, yeah. Spill some on herself first. Yeah. Some sugar. All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, there, there may be a little bit of interference here and there with the stream. Call just, the uh, just be. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. Holy yeah, shit. we're we're killing it, man. You guys are what? doing awesome. This. Uh, I see my name. She said, "Tori, um, don't forget to tell them what card I am." Nate, oh yeah, Nate Nate, said that. Nate's the fool. Every time I've done <laughs> a reading for him, or anybody has done a reading for him, including my mom. Um, the fool card always comes wow. out. Wow. Because that's, that's very, it's a symbolic well, thing Well, don't you for use him. all, every card in the deck or no? Not necessarily. I usually just go until um, I feel like I need to move on to another deck. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I mean, I'm, I mean, as tarot readers go, I'm, you, I'm the most just kind of, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, there are, there are people that they're more comfortable with very being by the book and like doing everything very systematically and that works for them. So that's fine. Um, me, I could literally just be anywhere and just kind of take a, a pack of cards and be like, uh, okay, here, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, um, going back to what you originally saying about the up, upwards and, uh, the reversed, mm -hmm. um, some people don't read, they only read upwards. Some people only read reversed. Um, but yeah, when they're one way means one thing and the other way does mean another thing. So. Wow, I didn't know that. That's cool. I'm just trying to get the. There's and, and one like, more thing I want. Like to that guy's that has the fool. That's not necessarily a bad thing. All the time, no, right? like there's the devil card in here, yeah. and there's the death card in here, and the fool card in here, and it doesn't. The way I read it, I mean, there are some people which I will always be the first one to say, um, not saying that anybody's style or the way they go about it is wrong, but if somebody comes in. Um, and you you pay money to do a reading, and they start saying like, "Oh, the devil this, the devil yeah. that," like da 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 da. I'm going to say six times out of ten, or I'm going to even maybe stretch it to eight times out of ten. I just don't want to offend anybody, but that I that may be a scam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because like I don't like the idea of playing off of people's fears because yeah. I feel like that's really irresponsible as somebody like somebody's coming you to ask for help. So it's like there you can't you can't have that idea of oh, I'm here and I'm the giver of this knowledge yeah. and blah, 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 and I will make you come back for more. It's like, no, you're here to provide a service and you're here to help people through these things. Like, mm -hmm. you're not going to just be a jerk and say like, oh, if you don't pay me, whatever. Yeah, this like, the devil happen. is going yeah. to take you over. It's yeah. just like, no. You don't want it to be a negative experience for him. You want it to be a positive yeah. experience. Yeah. Like, so, come and they go, you know, I really learned a lot or whatever. Yeah. I, I feel good I after come that. From, yeah, and that's, that's where me and like all, all the other tarot readers that I know of, are the same way where they come through with very like love and light energy. Like I always say that like people that practice divination or so-called witches, we are energetic alchemists. Ooh. We're not here to tell people. And al I'm an alcoholic. Alcoholicist. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he takes uh, booze and turns it into uh, more booze. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I don't know where to go with that. Um, so real quick, so the each the, the the way this cards get cards. I'm going back to the card game here. I know there's different terms. If you could change me as I go, but uh, there's a different suits. Each suit has 14 cards, 10 pip cards, uh, numbering from one or ace to 10, and four face cards: king, queen, knight, jack, knave. Or is that like, is yeah, it's like N A I V E. It's K N A V E. Oh, in my deck, uh, nave, it's, it's, yeah. a okay, it's a yeah. page. It's a page. Uh, well, and then it says knave. Uh, knave or and then page in addition to tarot card there's 21 uh trump suit and a single card known as the fool mm -hmm. yes depending on the game the fool may act as a trump or may be played to avoid the following suit and that's because he's he starts the uh major arcana so his number is zero so technically he doesn't have a number so that's oh. why so that's why, so that's he why might they say be... 21 or 22 technically uh, i think so yeah, there's there's twenty two of the major. Yeah. So then he was he's number he's zero. Oh, okay. So there's so, twenty two. Oh, so technically there's twenty three. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Now I for know. for people listening, uh, you do do readings for people. Now yep. explain to people maybe your prices or how you go about mm -hmm. doing it because I know 
it's different now because of the COVID. And I, I, I was talking to a few people promoting this episode, and they said they would be very interested in getting their cards read. So this is now their way of yeah, how hearing from you. How do you go do this? Yeah. Um, getting one. Um, you can just get it a hold of me. And I for the pandemic, I only have it like for $40. Um, and how I do that is um, I accept payment through Venmo or PayPal. And then what I do is I'll take a picture of all of my decks, and I'll send it to you. And I ask you to just look at it and see which decks you gravitate to. And it could be just the main one that I do, or it could be all of them. And um, I'm pretty liberal with that. So it's just, it's just you could pick one or all 13. Wow. And um, if you're seriously um, drawn to all of them, I really wouldn't recommend saying, oh, I want all 13 just to get all 13. <laughs> yeah. You could do that. But if you really want something that's more dialed down to you as a person, like pick the ones that make you feel these, good when you look at them. These are all way too colorful for me. I need like a real dark deck. What, what the here? Nature. Is that it right there? That was the one. Which one did oh, I oh. immediately go for? I, I looked at the, the first, uh, the old school one. This and then, and then I went right to this one. Yeah. Those have really, those are yeah. really cool. Those are more collage ones. Um, but anyway, yeah. And then um, I film, I meditate on your energy. And your if you have a question or if you just want a regular reading. Yeah, well, thank um, you. That's, that was my next. Yeah, no problem. And then um, I actually film myself doing it. And I create a private YouTube link for you. So then as long as whoever has the link can look it up and nobody else will see it. Um, and I do regular tarot readings, the general readings. I also do... Um, if you have a specific question in mind or a few questions in mind, um, I also do past life readings and starseed readings. Ooh. So past so, life one, that's interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. now with the readings, there are reading general readings. Mm -hmm. These are the two I just researched. So most most tarot readers do the general readings, or they could do like how you were saying a question reading, where mm -hmm. it's like, hey, I have troubles with my love life, or I have someone who has passed, or uh, is my are, career path the right? Is path? my career yeah. path, like that kind yeah, of I get stuff? That one a lot. So you can do general questions, or you can just do an overview. Mm -hmm. But overview things can turn into general path as well, where mm -hmm. our general path can turn into a more direction because yeah. you maybe the cards are telling you, hey, there's something going on with your career or your love life or something else yeah. that we sh you should really focus on now. Yeah, because a lot of the time, like I, uh, other than like people asking about, because their big thing, like especially with COVID that's hitting is like the career and money and, mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. Um, people will just be like, I really don't know what to ask. I'm just like, okay, so then just leave it up to the cards. Like, yeah. it's, it's, that's up to the cards then to... Do you want you want to do a quick reading? We we'll do Andy first. I can try. Right. Whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Well, here, why don't we we can talk a while? Because what I do when I have people here in person with me, I have them here. You pick out which other which other okay. decks what, you want to use. Which call? I, I, what calls to you? These it was either the silver one or this Linus Oracle one. Yeah, take <laughs> both there, of them. There was a cat one in here. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I like the cat. Let's do this. One. Okay. We'll and, and so, I see the first one. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's David, David Bowie. Bowie. Yeah. David, yeah, look at that. Look David at that. David Bowie, which I gave you a sticker of that exact art. Yeah. He's wow. a star. Bowie. Yeah, David Bowie with the all-seeing eye. Yeah, I love this deck. I got this deck in Salem. It's the so beautiful fun. man. I want to go to Salem. Yeah, so do I. I. My I mom wanna... went there last. Yeah. Home. She really liked it. My mom's into all this stuff, too. Oh, I love yeah. that. She brought her. Yeah. <laughs> she, like, this is, she should be looking through all of them. <laughs> I, that's what I love. Um, so, yeah, you want this one? Um, pick other ones, too. Like, you don't uh, have to I, just... Because okay, I, like I know you were drawn to that one, too. Yeah, this one I started going through. I was like, this like, art is really cool. Yeah. I mean, the box is very cool. Some other shiny things. But if like, anyone has any questions art. in the chat, please, yeah. please put them up. We have a, we had a good amount of viewers there for a little bit. We had, like, over 20. Wow. That's great. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for so much for tuning in. If you are turning in while, while we're getting this set up... I like these ones. Um, like, cool. Hit that share button. Like, follow, <laughs> share it up. Let people know that this is a podcast. Hit the... Uh, follow us on the social medias as well. Um, if you don't have to do it right now, you can wait for the show to be over. But thank you guys so much. Oh, for here's a little book. Like this one comes a booklet. It kind of tells yeah, you about all, the card. Yeah, all of them. All of them except uh, this one because it's old. And oh, my mom gave this one to me when I was in middle school. Oh. Thanks, and mom. That was old. That mom. was the thing I seen too, where some people get really like skeeved at, like you can't buy your own decks; they have to be gifted. And then some people are like oh. that's just an older practice. Uh, that numerology. People, Not to yeah. cut you off. Yeah. 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 And some of the some of the decks have apps that you can buy, and mm -hmm. the app can guide you. So on I think how the writer writer weight has 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 an app. I'm pretty sure. Wow, I didn't. They just ask for everything nowadays. Crazy. Yeah, um, but like, yeah, and like almost every one, there's always because I mean, especially for the oracle decks, um, because there's two different. There's tarot decks, and then there are oracle decks. Tarot pretty much follows a specific setup, and um, with the major arcana, minor arcana, and then there's oracle decks where like my best um, description of it is you could make a tarot deck on or an, an oracle deck on just dog breeds and have like love like loyalty happiness and that that's an oracle deck and if, if you're passionate about mm -hmm. it like there you go so each deck usually comes with a booklet that gives the general description of what it is mm -hmm. 
you can definitely, if you're just starting out or if that's like your bag, like you can go through and like do all that. I don't do that. I just kind of go through and if I see something, I'm just kind of like, I see the imagery and then whatever's kind of like pulled is just kind of like, oh, okay, then we'll just finagle it. Now, when okay. we when we do this reading, you're not going to really see the cards on camera, but we, I, I, while they're doing the reading, I'll try to talk you through what the cards yeah, look like. Yeah, and I'll go like through and, and I'll explain too, yeah, like yeah, everything yeah. too, so it'll be a... Just real general. Yeah. So what I, get, what I do for everybody when they're in person, I hand them the deck. Okay. And then I ask them to shuffle with intention. And what that means is if you have a question, mm -hmm. just think about that question when you're shuffling. Or if you don't have a question, you just want a general thing, then shuffle that and just allow yourself to be open to letting... Okay. Yeah, probably just general. I don't really have any questions offhand, yeah, you know. So a question we had while he's shuffling mm -hmm. is uh, when you say loved ones, does that, uh, does that include a... Uh, loved ones who have passed, would that include animals? And it's not a weird question. No, all, it's all it's not a weird question. No. I mean, I've had, I mean, everybody does readings differently. And I mean, I have had, I have had feelings of um, animals that have come in. I mean, so that is definitely a possible thing. Um, and it's, I mean, I've, from actual animals that have passed and also like, you know, like totem animals, like the, the uh, whatever archetype comes in but yeah i mean i've i have had I shuffle animals. weird so no just, that's just fine ignore me. no that's just fine what she was doing before the episode started <laughs> oh shut up <laughs> you shuffle like little kids i can't do that no, the poker can't. thing i wish what? i could can i, can I say yeah, it go right. ahead. so we, as we were setting everything up she opens all her decks up and she has all her cards on she goes don't mind me i'm gonna do some weird things here and didn't even give herself a break and she just goes she cuts her cards and goes <laughs> this is a and she blew on them. I was I like, "Blow the magic dust off!" Come on. <laughs> and I was like, "You mean like weird things like that?" And she started cracking up. Loudly. I was like, "Yeah, shut up! Don't judge me." Well, that's what I do. That's what she I do. She blows the energy. Like, hey, everyone has their things. You ever see like when Here, old women that play uh, bingo? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they have their little things. Okay. It was like it was like it was, it was like an old Super, Super Nintendo card right there. And like, I yeah. go through them. Yeah, she's making, getting go. all the bad juju off it. Yeah. You have to say so these cards I after have, I get done with them. And it's them. Just, just this deck that I do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have you what I call cutting it into three decks, which just means just make three piles. Okay, no problem. Yeah, my, like my, my, my neighbor's dog is like, hey, uh, they're recording. We're going to do out in the yard and, yeah. and, and make bark. Make even there. Yeah, sure. There go, like things even. Yeah. <laughs> every, move, every move counts. And I put them all back into it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Here, you can hold there, onto these for a while. There's a method for, for behind the madness. And that's that's not completely necessary for everybody. I'm going to put this over here. I would assume everyone has their own... Yeah, everybody uh, has their own thing for it. it. Um, so, I'm so, so interested to learn about Andy right now. At yeah, the bottom of the deck, here's another saucy card. At the bottom Ooh, of the deck, usually... Um, the sex <laughs> actually. Whoa, hey now. <laughs> it's the lover's card. <laughs> so that's just... Why is it the I, bottom? Put, I put it there in front of her. <laughs> you just went through and you're like... Yeah. Furthest away from When I was doing a little kid thing, I know what I was doing. <laughs> I'm like Rain Man. I was counting cards. Okay, so we'll put that there. Death card. Ooh, no. Well, that's a great Late start. World death. reverse. Seven of Cups. You were just talking about the Seven of Cups. That's reverse. And there are, that's, I, love, I love the art in that, especially that. Yeah, I like art. the death art on this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I bet a lot of these have been tattoos, you know, over the years. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And now I always go through and I always say, um, as we were talking earlier before, with the death card. Well, it's with been the, real. It's real. With, <laughs> with the devil card, with the death card, with like some of the more like the Ten of Swords has, is a very gory card. Um, <laughs> death. Death. <laughs> is just a symbol of, because um, the white rose is right next to it, so it, it's just a symbol of the death of a cycle. That's okay. always what I say. The death of a cycle or um, an ego death, which is an ego death is just um, kind of... Personality change? Yeah, a personality change, a... Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, you, let's say you were a heavy alcoholic and maybe the death of that, you, you give up drinking, mm -hmm. right? Like, something... Yeah. Could be positive. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's always an end of a cycle. It's not just never a whole like, oh, you're going to die. Yeah. Uh. Now I have been in readings with somebody where the death card came up, and I was explaining it to them, but then I would kind of get the feeling I'd be like, but, and then like other cards that would come up too, I would just kind of be like, is this an issue? Like more of just like, is this an issue of death? Where they would be like, yes, I'm afraid of death. Like yeah. I've been afraid of death, like with COVID and everything. And I'd be like, oh, okay. So it literally just goes. Like, I've been doing hardcore you're... drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and then the devil card pops up because the devil card is always about like um, addiction and like being like held oh, down to things. Okay. So it's like <laughs> the devil. Never. Um. So here the, the Speaking world. Speaking of the devil, see my new shirts there? 
Too oh, weird to live. Oh, look at that. Dude, it's too not. rare to die. Oh, it's my Hunter S. Thompson shirt. Oh, oh okay, cool. I like your uh, Cthulhu. Oh, thank you. It glows in the dark too. So, Should we make yeah. you Cthulhu? Yeah, if you want to, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with all your eyeballs. I was just gonna say the name of another one. But I will not say the name of that. So, <laughs> yeah, she we'll knows. I'll say it later. We'll get banned. <laughs> yeah, we'll get shadow banned. <laughs> all right. So then the world I have here reversed. Um, and so a lot of the times when the world is reversed, and this is how I'm feeling it too. It's, it's death to the world. De- death to the world. Ah. Death to the world. See ya. <laughs> I'm going to the airplane. I'm going to the moon. Well, that kind of like to me too, like that's talking about the end of a cycle and having the world on reverse. It's almost just like something was going somewhere or you were going somewhere with something mm-hmm. and then like something had ended or there was the death to that cycle and then like there was a little bit of a, the world was... S- or the situation was like on its head for a minute. The, okay. the world was still, the world is always still there and it's reminding that the cycle is always there, but there was an ending to something. It could be a situation, career path, relationship, way of thinking. And mm. so you're going one way and then it was just kind of like, like something happened like that. Yeah. Um, uh, might be too early to ask this. I always go through and I ask this too as I'm going along. Does that seem like something that would resonate to you? Because if something... Go ahead. I can't think of anything offhand okay. right now. Okay. Because usually like when I go through, and we'll keep going, um, if something isn't going the correct way, it's always... it's You can always ask for more guidance correct. to go on the other course okay. correct. So as you were talking about before, you had mentioned the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups um, is reversed. And so when it's upright, I see the Seven of Cups as a whole lot of opportunities but it's in the sky so I always that's my and when it's reversed it's always like I'm getting like the feeling of like being overwhelmed with so many things mm. um I'm giving too many podcasts that's today. true I, 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 <laughs> I often say I feel like I don't have enough time to do everything yeah so it's like the I it's like being overwhelmed or maybe something needs to with that they're not being able to have enough time to do everything and then with the knight of rods here or the king of rods um the king of <laughs> That's Ooh. always that's always a fun one. Um, the the King of Rods is, um, I mean, I, and that also here's another thing, another side tangent. A lot of times, people with the suits, there's cups, pentacles, um, rods or wands, and swords. And so with those, they all relate to a certain element. Okay. Um, the wands or the rods are usually fire energy. Um, then the pentacles are um, earth energy. Then the water, the cups are obviously water energy, and then the swords are air. Um, a lot of the times, people will put them together with like distinct like zodiac signs because mm-hmm. like Aries is a fire sign, but da, da. so I don't really do that. But I mean, that's just another thing that some people do. So um, um, the King of Rods is somebody who very much because um, he's alone in the desert, but he has his staff and he's, he's going, he's going forward. Um, and it's somebody that like pushes through with that fire, like just, I keep saying fire, you're not a fire sign, are you? What, fire, oh, Taurus. Taurus, yeah. okay, I didn't, okay. So just like going through and just pushing through and like the, um, he, let me pull out more, let me pull on. Okay, no problem. So going back to all of this, something needs, something needs to uproot, something needs to end because with the world here being stagnant, on its head, not mm-hmm. being able to push forward because all of these oppor- sorry, because all you're these, overwhelmed. Because yeah, because you're overwhelmed with all these opportunities. So okay, can this be? Can this be saying? Sorry. Mm-hmm. So this could be saying, listen, uh, death means something renewed. Right now, the world's upside down. It's on its head. You maybe, and then these these guys can go together by saying yeah. that you're overwhelmed. There's a lot going on, mm-hmm. and you need to change the course to do that. Yeah. But the only way you're going to get there is to keep pushing through. Yeah, absolutely. You, see, you yeah. should read. Yeah, a lot of Tonys get through that. That's interesting. Yeah. You should read. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to charge $50. <laughs> I see you're 40, and I'm going yeah. to raise you $50. And I'll give you a hug. And a hug. So that, and then I do see the Ace of Pentacles popped up here, mm-hmm. and it's reversed. So, I, and this one, I just felt, I just wanted to put a separation there because I almost feel like because of this outcome, because of what's happening now on the trajectory of this thing not being changed or something's in the way and just not having enough time to do something. I always see aces as messages. And because it's um, a, a pinnacle, I usually see that with um, money, material gain, uh, career choices. Um, and right now it's reversed and it has that little gateway there. Mm-hmm. If it were upright, it's just like kind of a message, which just means to me, it's just like, opportunities being laid and, and that's what I feel like I just see opportunities being laid 
right here, but it's reversed, so it's like some whatever is happening You're right real here. Real close that, to, but you can't get to it. Yeah, so whatever it's Hence it's my that big time thing. Contract. It's that thing. It's that thing that needs that's it's because it, it's all an energetic pyramid. So it's like and it's like the butterfly effect where it's like mm -hmm. one thing Sorry. has to change to go on a certain trajectory or it's going to go this way. So it's like there's one mm -hmm. thing, and it and I'm just feeling I could be wrong. I do something emotionally energetic that's blocking you mm. from taking a path from taking this path and it couldn't be it could be just something else it could be the idea of having to wait or the anxiety of having to wait or something but whatever this is that will come that will come out at some point that you have to get over to uh be able to, to reach the goal to reach that goal that's that's in place to be laid down for you the goal is the aw contract I was going to say, the, the, oh, the goal shit. is wrestling. Yeah. And the, whatever is blocking me, keeping me from the opportunity is NWA, ROH, New Japan, whatever. And that's, uh, or the thing that could be holding you back right now yeah. is you can't wrestle because the world Maybe. is on its axis. Because I, oh! yeah. I felt like when it was really hot and heavy, there, when I was wrestling Friday and Saturday, I'm like, man, I'm going to get a contract. Like something big is going to happen. If she draws the TNT title card next, <laughs> I'm going to yeah. shit right <laughs> If Tony Khan comes up, I'm like, oh. If she draws the Cody Rhodes card, yeah. I'm going to smash this glass over my oh head. Oh, my God. But that's like, well, lucky to you. No, yeah, <laughs> that's what like the only thing that I'm getting from this like right now that like you know wrestling. And yeah, the, uh, the opportunity card. That's like well, that's kind of weird, you know. Mm -hmm. The King of Rods. I am one to persevere though and keep going through though. Yeah, like today when I did that. Oh my god! Two mile walk. And look, it's you walking in the heat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the I mean, my god, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a sweet hat like that. Though. If you walked around with that hat. And that beard and that stick. Yeah, you give me that, you give me that stick. I'll be a cleric then. You know, <laughs> casting spells and resin people. You would get pulled over by the police. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that you'd get nuts. pulled over by Max Bolton. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if he's gonna give me a ride, that's all right. <laughs> so let me just make it an even, oh, even no ten here. This is cool. It's interesting. Yeah. Look at all of these on their head. Uh oh. Okay. They're all I, men. I did. I did shuffle, and then she shuffled. Like we all. It's all good. It's all good. So then going along the line here, like the the rods are the. The rods are a lot here. of rods. You got a lot, lot of you got a lot of rods. You got a lot of rods. Um, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Don't of those. get too dirty. I don't. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we have the the two of wands here, and that's always like that right there. I, that just makes me feel like it's the two of rods as in this deck depicted as somebody holding onto a rod. Somebody else is holding it into frame, and, and this the original person has a crystal ball in them. So that just kind of whenever I see. Two, I always see a, a pathway or a gateway, and um, I feel like you. I keep wanting to say you have you have the world already. You have it right here. Mm. It's here for you, and you have it. And what I what I'm just getting is you holding this rod. Like you know, you know what you want, and like the rod to me is more depicting of your own intuition and what you want. And then I feel like there might be somebody or other like. Of like, of like, well, you should do this. You should do that. Maybe okay. you should do this. Maybe you should do that. And you're kind of just like, no, I know what I want. I have this here. Like, thank you for your opinions, but no, the, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Which then, makes sense. We're like, you should date someone. Like, I don't want to. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm okay. I'm fine. I like my cat. I like spend time with my cat. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, hey, keep going. <laughs> Um, the King of Pentacles is reversed, um, which is also the Taurus card. But I mean, that has I mean may not have anything he likes to do grapes. with it. Wonderful. I, I grapes also, are right. I, I've also he's a lot of grapes. Nice. I, 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 I think grape soda is the best grape soda ever. Anyway, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. So the the King of Pentacles is the King of like monetary success and um, like uh, that. Uh, what was I saying before? The career, like mm -hmm. having all of that together and he's on his head. So that would make sense where you were saying like everything's kind of stopped right now. So it's like you're not able to reach that. You're not able to reach that. And so then the judgment card is on its head saying that you can't, it's almost like you're in, you're, I almost want to say you're in limbo, but you're not, well, I guess maybe, yeah. where it's like you're, you're stuck. So you can't make the decisions. So maybe that's also why like the world is on its head and like all these cups, like you, you're stagnant. Okay. Yeah. Waiting. We're just like, there's nothing anybody we're, we're, can we're really do. We're in Q do. or Quay, as they yeah, say. Yeah, the Quay, the Q. Yeah. So, like, it's it's very much just, like, 
It's very stuck. Like it's paused. The game is paused. The game is paused. Yeah. Absolutely. You can't beat the level. And you, yeah, you can't. You can't make a move forward. You can't even make a move back. You're just. It's just right here. Um, the emperor is on his head, and that's the Aries card. Um, but that's also another. I think it's it's funny because they have like little beaks on there. But oh, that's yeah, just yeah. because it, that's more fire sign. And um, it's a very Nazi other, eagle right there too. It is a very <laughs> Nazi eagle. It absolutely is. Yeah. Um, but then I do feel like there. And this could be, it's jumping out at me as like somebody else. Like maybe there is somebody else in the process of like your contract or whatnot who's also waiting for something so they can present it to you so you can. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe it's uh, my tag partner now sometimes, Matt Turner. Maybe. maybe. You know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it also could just represent that it's just what I'm getting just from all of this is just there's a lot of waiting. There's oh, a boy. lot of waiting. And then uh, the page of rods, which just ties into just. Because rods, like, all of you are just work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's, there's, because uh, pa the page is always represented as a child. Um, a knight is a young adult. And then, like, the kings and the queens are, like, the adults. And whenever I see pages, I always think of, like, the inner child, um, which I think a lot of people definitely, like, and that's a whole other, whole other conversation about how damaged the inner child is right now in our time of whatever but it's the idea, and I see how contrasting they are. So it's, he's ready to go. He's ready to go into work. He's ready to go into the desert, ready to do this. And then it's almost like there's, because everything is so stagnant, there's like that little kid that's just kind of like, go now. Go. Yeah. So, yeah. So do me a favor, start shuffling those okay, guys. The, the, the silver ones? Yeah, yes. actay, actually, shuffle oh, do you these, want to do these okay. Yeah. okay. And that's just the same way. Well, this is interesting. Plus, like, you're here as a third person viewing. So it's like, it's a little bit different because, uh, I didn't. I didn't chuckle. Episode one today. <gasps> Muff <Mothman. laughs> um, you, you gotta, you gotta touch that because there's a lot. Go back to that one too. Do you know that Point Pleasant, West Virginia, has the most cryptids of any place? Yeah. Like, there's something about that place. Probably the ley lines or something. Like, or uh, the water. Yeah. Right, some, 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 everyone just gets really hot. There's something in the water. <laughs> yeah. My brother's moving to Virginia. So. Really? Yeah. Tell me about Point Pleasant. Hope he, hope he, I wish there was a video. I want to move there. to Point Pleasant one day. Hope he gets picked up by the moth, man. <laughs> and, then, and, then, oh. and then dropped. Just picked up a little bit. He uh, he was listening to the podcast. Yeah. And uh, he called to tell me that he couldn't breathe because when you said, "What do you think of the Mothman?" thinks of all of his memes, and I just said without hesitation, "I, was, I don't think he has social media." <laughs> <laughs> you don't my know. Favorite. You don't know. He's, <laughs> he's like, "You're such an idiot." <laughs> that's, that's a that's a funny one. It's funny. It's really funny. So, so, so far, really quick. So far, does that that's resonating? It a makes bit. sense if you look at it like from from the wrestling standpoint. Like, yeah. I feel that I have enough talent to be places, but I'm not. I mean, and there's no fans, so I mean, there's. I mean, some people are getting signed, but some aren't. But mm. it, I always felt like you know, if I just get that opportunity, you know, just, yeah. just like uh, because you're in a, a band, so mm -hmm. just like if you had that record producer that yeah. was from the label that said, "Hey, that hears you," and be like, "Wow, these, these guys are good. Let's sign them." I mean, that's all mm -hmm. it takes, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 80 people could hear you and hate you, but that one guy could hear you and say, this is, this is a hit. Mm -hmm. And this could be representative of maybe that one person where it's like, because everything is on hold, like that, that right person isn't able to come out and see you do your okay, thing. Okay, yeah. So like, I mean, that's just what popped out to me. I mean, there's a million different possibilities. Yeah, and I mean, feel different... free to tell me that I'm crazy in the comments. That's fine. Or you can just uh, tweet Andy Hedder. Yeah. Uh, Cody Rhodes. Tweet, tweet, tweet <laughs> Cody Rhodes and say, <laughs> Andy Hedder's going to kick your ass. <laughs> You'd also, Billy Corgan became an NWA comes back. Yeah. So he their contract. So I don't know if you know Billy Corgan, the Smashing Pumpkins guy. Oh, yeah. He owns a wrestling company. And <laughs> no shit. He's been a huge and wrestling fan for years. He, like said, he, had, plus he years. said he has seen lizard people. He's seen a manifestation yes. of a lizard person. He, right yeah. He's in the Hollywood scene, so I don't put it past him. Yeah. So here, real quick while he's shuffling, my dad brought this new sticker from Fork Hill. Um, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're those ones, the flower. And kind of it's called in Tioga County, and there's a town called Blackwell. Oh, wow. That's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. It means nothing to what we're doing, but I just figured <laughs> I was trying to. All right, here we go. Here we go. Two of swords. So there's another two on top of that. And there's the ace of wands, another ace with the wands here. Mm. And, and then so cool, the, the like, ten do, of cups. Not to interrupt you, but they do Tony a totally different experience. Like, right? Probably. Like, most likely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, but probably. Um, so I'm going to pull a couple here so far. Um, the two of swords, um, that's that's another, like, a decision. Um it's another da, 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 da. sometimes it's and this will happen to a lot of people too it's just like 
even though there's a lot of intuition that comes out to it, there is still like that process of finding out and putting putting all the pieces together. Um, so the two of swords, and now here's here's another example too. I'm like really going off another side tangent. So no like, problem. it's interesting. It's very like, interesting. Even though it is a set tarot deck, and the two of swords mean, means something in the in uh, specific in the base sense of everything, um, I have different feelings and different um, uh, symbol symbolism in this tarot deck than the other tarot deck, and that's just kind of how it is. Um, so I do see the two of swords and on here there's just like a like looks like a very old timey like a king and like his bride or whatnot mm -hmm. and it's reversed and there's a, a sword going through it. So that kind of just like remind like that how you would mention where people are just like go on a date like get a girl and you're just yeah. like no no I'm good I don't yep. I want any of that I'm done like I, and then like your ace of wands is right here so it's like the king of rods with the ace of rods where it's just like you know and having the um, that crystal ball right here where it's just kind of, well, that's, and you were, that's, that's the people saying do, and you're like, no, I have everything right here. So I that's, feel like that. like, I'm good. so <laughs> that's like, and, and that's, and that this is just cause it's right set up. So it's confirmation of just like stick to whatever, whatever, whatever you feel, because that's your intuition. And I mean, maybe whatever, like it's, it's your, it's your life. Mm -hmm. Like people may have good intentions that come forward and say like, we want you to be happy, blah, blah, blah. You're just not. Like I am happy. And you have your ace of wands, which is that other gift coming in about work. And so you're the king of rods ready to do your work. So that's just to me more, more um, validation on that aspect. And then the 10 of cups is reversed. Um, and to that, that, because I feel like this is the bottom deck, it, like how I'm I'm feeling for mm -hmm. it now. The bottom cards are more leaning towards like your journey, and then I'm feeling like these cards are kind of confirming like the outside view of it, like the, your loved ones or people that are okay. just like date. Okay. Da, da, da. So it's just like no, I don't want to date. I have everything here, and then it's like the fear of like you won't because the ten of cups right side up is like achieving emotional like fulfillment like 3000 percent, and so it's right it's upside down so to me like that's just like this is just like the fear that maybe like your loved ones are having about you not wanting to be in a relationship mm -hmm. that you'll never achieve happiness because oh, you won't okay. find that person um you want to go through and do that one okay too? sure yeah because those are the only ones because i don't want to dwell too much if that's the energy that's going on i don't want to dwell too much into other people's energy because okay, that's yeah. Well, hey, I mean, whatever, that, whatever you want to do, this is it, cool. It brought your it brought your thing, so that's just acknowledgement for why people are might be pushing you to go into a relationship, whatever. Um, but it's about you, it's, yeah. and this is about your future and your dream. So, the hell with other people. The hell with yeah, other people. This ain't their tarot card reading. It's like your birthday. My birthday, <laughs> I want my kind of cake. I don't care what kind of cake you want. And on your birthday, you can have your kind of cake. Yeah, exactly. And I, if I don't like it, too bad. <laughs> too bad. Today, my birthday. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I say. Yeah, I checked it out. The, the mics sound good on my end. Um, with the with everything going on and everyone and their brother being on the internet, you may have some interference here. Um, if it is cutting out on you, it may be your internet on yeah. your end. If uh, you go back and listen to like uh, in podcast form, it yeah. Sounds so great. If, if this is something you are interested in, maybe it's not playing as great for you. Uh, there are links below where you can go and check it out on any audio system, so you can listen to the audio only. Um, Spotify, if you download any app that does podcasts, you can just search the IWEP network and we do pop up. Um, even if you are a fan of the um, video, um, I, would, I would recommend going on Spotify, giving us a follow, or going on our podcast app and making us one of your favorites mm -hmm. because it does give us a couple hits to put us up higher. Because the more, uh, just kind of giving you like a TED Talk here while he's shuffling, yeah, but that's the fine. more likes you get on social media or the more comments or the more follows or the more stuff, it puts you in a higher tier so more people are exposed to your product. The algorithm. So, it, the algorithm. so, when, we, so when people who are content creators are like, hey, just give us a follow, it, it does, it, there is a reason to it. And it, is, it, does, it only takes a few minutes to, to go on YouTube and hit subscribe or to go like a page. It doesn't cost anything any, anyone. Um, and uh, it does help us out yeah, tremendously. Yeah, and then if you download the audio thing, you can listen to it while you drive. Yeah, it's much easier. It is. Oh, yeah. It is. It is a very That's good. What I do. For it is a very. Mind. Yeah, it's a very good thing to listen to while you're driving. Especially if you have a job where you drive a lot, like me. So yeah. it was my mic. I, why? I was probably breathing into it like an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. It might have been me too. Yeah. <laughs> for the rest of the podcast, <laughs> I gotta talk like this. Hey, everybody. And uh, if you're wondering, Tori is wearing "Designed by Bruno Mars." <laughs> Whoa, really? Whoa. No, I'm not. Have you ever seen 24 Karat Gold video? No, I it's haven't. Literally, oh, is that, it's literally. Her video. shirt it reminds me of the Rock's $500 shirt. Remember that? Yeah. You, do, you dress like the Rock. I wore it. Yeah, the Rock. That's my work. Do you smell I... what Tori's cooking? Yeah. I wore this $500 shirt. <laughs> 
Okay, so I like this deck. He pulled out the... Um, Oh, sure. The Animal Spirit. The Animal Spirit deck. I know this one has been, like, pretty, pretty popular. I mean, I, I fell down the marketing thing. I was just like, I want that because mm -hmm. it's pretty. Um, <laughs> but the art is really awesome it's on the cards. beautiful. The art is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, so when I read these cards, they're all upright. There's no reverse to these ones because it's just, like, an animal totem. Um, and I was, for skeptics, I was turning. I know you were. <laughs> and yeah. I was just like, ha, ah, I see that yeah. skeptic, and yeah. I put it down the right way how I want to. Um, so this is just like the idea of the archetype of the animal coming through. And um, this, I, I read this deck as more of like um, the overall energy, what some um, people in the occult business call like animal energy, um, um, medicine. Okay. Where like they have like crow medicine or like toad medicine or like stingray medicine. It's the essence of that animal that you can use to help you further yourself along. Um, so the stingray here... Um, Killed Steve Irwin. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> but here it has, and the stingray has um, its chakras lit up. It's a completely black and white card for people that can't see. And it has, like, down the center of it, right down, the, right down its belly into its stinger, it has, like, its chakras all lined. So I f that, to me, is just symbolizing that... Um, you are balanced in what you want to do, and mm -hmm. you have a very clear set intention on what you want to do. Um, and you're in that, that the, its tail, its stinger is like recoiled, so it's just kind of like not in attack mode. It's just like I'm, I'm, I'm very centered in who I, in who I am and mm -hmm. what I want to do. I think, yeah, I think yeah, that's very, very that might be your spirit. I, I, I just want to say to everyone, this is our first time ever meeting, so it's not like she knows me and she's yeah. just spitting yeah, knowledge no. out. It's no. crazy because it's funny how you're like, how she's saying because I'm thinking to myself, like, Andy is a very like cool, calm, and collect dude. Mm -hmm. He definitely knows what he wants, mm -hmm. and it's very what like, I like, what I don't like, what he likes, yeah. what he doesn't like. That and, discernment, and, really and good. if he's really not into something, he just won't partake. Like, oh, like, perfect. Yeah. So, like, there's no art. There's like that's because I okay. So I kept getting the idea of just like like a stingray getting ready to attack, but no, it's up. So like, it's not like it, if it doesn't like something or doesn't want, it's not gonna like. Like put, if you hear a story that put Andy, any energy Andy into punch it. someone in the face, mm -hmm. that person's yeah, gonna do that's, something that's, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's really that's it. just like it's at, it's at a, what do I want to say, where it's like not ready to fight. It's just at like whatever. Yeah, like whatever. Well, you're you, it's just you're 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 centered and you're not gonna yeah, put I, any I, energy I into saying, anything. Yeah. yeah, it's just like in in a weight mode. So it's just like chilling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that kind of like reminds me here where like that just piggybacking off of that the buffalo here. Um, the buffalo is black and white, and then there's like a lightning strike in the strike in the background, and it's very vibrant. Well. Pastel y colors and whatnot, but that just kind of piggybacks on it, reminded the calm in the storm and um, being able to see what needs to get done and just pushing through, even though the storm's going on behind you, there's predators around you, da 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 da, but you are the buffalo. Set in your path. Very like set the in your King path, of Rods very... card there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, and I love when that happens to you, like the correlations come through and it all kind of blends together. But yeah, it's very like much. confirms what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, and look, they each have horns. Oh, 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 oh hey now, I've probably... got some horns. That'd be awesome. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny too, because then there's the, the King of Pentacles too. Oh, yeah. The horns. Wow, that's, and like... that's the Taurus card too, so. Um, so going to the crocodile. Look at him, he's up no good. <laughs> he's mad because you killed Steve. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like, he tried for so many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my kill, you son of a bitch. Um, that just gives me this, like the the idea of just waiting mm -hmm. and just being like being like. And I don't like know a log. Why, yeah, and I don't know why that that um, even though like we're talking about your wrestling career, that's like the first card that's actually like felt any sort of like like em like tie to. Uh, the wrestling itself where it's just like, I don't know why. I don't know why mm -hmm. I don't follow wrestling, but it's just like the idea of just like waiting. And then I, I don't know. It like, that might waiting make to sense. Strike or? Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting, but it's also, it could just mean being stagnant in the water in still waters mm. and just waiting. Um, the tiger right off the bat just, just makes me think of just like the, like the fierce, fierce, um, maybe in the ring, something like that. Okay. Um, or and you, you met Tony the Tiger. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, there it is. And then... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not real laid back when I'm wrestling. I'm like, okay, so. No, no, he's... Like, like Orange Cassidy. He's a different human. <laughs> yeah. He's a different, he's a different oh, human. Really? Reason. Yeah, it's funny because he's very calm, cool, funny, collect. Well, and then before he hits the curtain... like, cause it's, Here's a cool thing. I've been watching Andy <laughs> wrestle for a while. I was and, playing a little uh, bit. Yeah, and before... Like, and then I got a chance because 
you know, the podcast and Andy's connections that helped us get kind of backstage a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I was, one of my first times ever backstage, I got to see Andy in a different environment where he wasn't just like somebody I watched when he hit the ring. I seen Mm -hmm. him backstage. I seen him interacting. I seen him working on his match with a guy. And then like before the match starts, he's got his water bottle. He's literally like head banging to himself. He's in his own stretch and he's in his own zone. And then as his music hit, he's sitting there straight and he's head banging. He's getting himself fired up. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he hits the curtain, he's just like, as soon as that moment hits where it's about to be his match, he completely completely transforms to a different human. Channeling. Yeah. Well, it's like Channeling flipping a switch. Well, yeah. like, like you said that you didn't play and stuff. If you went out there and you'd be like, and you know, the line was, was something you were like, and that's why I killed him because mm-hmm. it was good. People are like, well, she can't act. Yeah. yeah. Said, and that's why I killed it's him. It's performance. Yeah. It, it, it is. It, and it I is. De- and like 50% performance it, art. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it, absolutely it, it was really it cool to like, because I, I always like thought because of, of his personality being very passive and laid back, I mm-hmm. didn't really ex- ex- seen him going into like a locker room success. And, st- and I'm saying that not saying he's selfish, but like he's very like, I know what my goal is. I'm gonna do it. But yeah. like the, uh, seeing him on the stage, he's like he's he's like he's not a pushy locker room leader, but he is someone no, that I people don't... do go to and, not... and, and 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 they do value opinions and Aww. he can help. Like if they he was given opportunities at a company like right before like the one night and they're like, hey, can you set up a very pre- pretty big event for us? And the company like trusted him to do so, and he did a. F- bang up job oh, and, it, and, it, cool. and like they, i mean they knew the like behind the curtain they knew the outcome of how it was going to go right. but they trusted him to kind of make sure the show like they of kind of correct you know? yeah, yeah like how to like, put it through here's where we're starting here's where we're ending can you get us there what you know give us the destiny yeah. you know, the, and the then journey like, kind of going backstage with guys like hey what, what do you want to work on all right cool this would be cool if you did this this and this and then it just it put together a really good and a lot of independent royal rumble matches mm-hmm. are, are the shit are really bad <laughs> <laughs> where like every 30 seconds a guy comes down and then the only way you can a- exit the match is if you're thrown over the top rope mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he kind of co- like helped choreograph thirty different people to kind of still That's give them so the cool. time to do their thing, but also go in and like put yeah, an overall put good show here. on. Yeah, yeah. it that was it was so really cool. good. It was it's really like, cool. You to gotta see, see it like an artist. Yeah, see what you want to do, like oh, yeah, what the story course. you're gonna write, and then try and yeah, like it changed my perception, but my perception of him because it wasn't just like. And like I said, not to say he like I thought he was selfish, but he was very like I'm. I'm kind of here. I want to do my thing. Mm-hmm. And then it kind of showed he's a very huge team player, and he he does care That's about awesome. other people's talent. Yeah. Well, stuff for too. that you kind of it's not just you. Like there are so many people. Yeah, there are thirty people involved. So like you want everyone to shine. Right. You don't want people to get lost. But then like mm-hmm. then some people like, they don't know what to do. And it's yeah. like, mm-hmm. it was cool. Yeah. It was cool yeah. to see. Yeah. It was fun to do too. So I really I really like that. Yeah. And with that, the only other card I had here, when we were just kind of talking about you doing your thing and being the star and it's the starfish. And yeah. I just think that's, that's kind of just very symbolic to that, to just keep pursuing your dreams and doing exactly what you're doing. And then you cool. will be the star. No, oh, right. Yeah. I would, I'd love to be the star. Be the star. So I, I see, and I am very I see, laid back. That's the thing. Yeah. I do see a lot of the like non-confrontation. I didn't want to like ruin her thing or like kind of give away stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause once again, I was skeptic, but like, mm-hmm. like I said, this, I, I perceive that as like the world on its head, mm-hmm. like yeah. the pandemic's going on and, and you know, overwhelming how he was saying yeah but one of the big things how you were saying too that the course has changed one of the big things i've noticed with andy too like he was starting before the pandemic is he was really taking his health a lot more seriously where he's going to the gym oh, and he's trying to okay. put himself in better shape Look at that. so he's more he's more physically eye appealing and also physically fit to do this career Strong. I, think he's, I think he's hitting on you yeah good buddy hey. no but uh, but once again, always always keeping his nose to the grind, doing it. No matter what people are outside, people are telling him like, "Hey, you should do this or do that." Um, you're he, like, no, he, you're my crystal ball. He here. stays in his path. Yeah. Um, he is very calm in the storm, laid back, waiting for his thing. But I do see him as becoming more fierce, like he, maybe to kind of be more fierce. Yeah, like be, really allow yourself to really. Yeah. go into whatever character because that you're yeah. doing. There is one thing that we definitely have in common when it comes to our our crafts. Like we're very passive when it comes to promoting ourselves. Like we like we're both the type of person if we just kind of lay low, stay quiet, keep our nose to the grind, put out good quality work, people will notice it. Mm-hmm. And then but it is very hard to promote and it's always hard to be like, like I'm the best and yeah. this is why you should like then it'll be me. like oh that bitch. Yeah. 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 And we yeah, and that is I feel a, that. A you have to feel the line. Yeah, it's a stigma that we both do struggle with and for him like with the, his industry you kind of have to do it but to, yeah. Once again, tote the line because if you overdo it, then people will completely write you off. Yeah, but then if you'll get a but name on your head. head, head but yeah. if you are too quiet, you get overlooked. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Yeah, it's weird. It's yeah. finding that balance. Yeah. And that's funny too. Like when I was going through, because I had thought it was going in one direction, but it's just like the starfish. I remember looking at the card and being like, wow, that's all very even and balanced and whatnot. So 
No, this might be something else. So or over, I could just be pulling something I do out of my feel, ass. But like, like, overall, but, stick your course, and I think things will work out. Yeah, right. but yeah. Like, like she didn't say anything crazy. Like, oh, you're gonna get rich, and you're gonna kill somebody. Like she didn't say anything outrageous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But so like, that's like if you were being skeptical. Like, what's to be skeptical about? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, you're like, oh, that's all bullshit. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like. I don't feel like anything that was said that was but, outrageous. But once again, everything about these cards is open to interpretation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's where people are always just, people uh, like count it off because they're like, oh, well, anything you say is up into interpretation. And to that I say, mm. absolutely, that's how divination works. Mm. But <laughs> She got real passionate about it. I that. did, because I hear it all the time. I hear it from loved ones. I hear it from strangers. And it's just like, it's not, and it, it's not for everybody. It's not everyone's path. And that's, that's completely right. fine. But don't come talking to me about my craft thinking you're going to pull one over on me because yeah. you're not. You know what it reminds me of too, kind of, in a way, but in a card form? Mm-hmm. Remember those things you used to play in, in the, the little oh, Chinese yeah. paper games? Yeah, those little... Like, beep, 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 yeah, beep, pick beep. a number, pick a number. Yeah. Pick a color, pick a color. <laughs> you're going to date. Oh. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it is. Dane, you know, what, what I love those. Dane Cook had a great joke one of those, mm-hmm. but he uses a word that's the F word, but doesn't mean... It. Um, yep. I gotcha. It doesn't mean screw you. <laughs> yeah, but he was like, pick a number, pick a color. Okay, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fun person. The LGBT community is my people's. So me too. I, I mean, I'll, I'll laugh at that. Yeah, I'll laugh at that. <laughs> it's funny. But it's funny to me because back in the day, that was kind of the uh, me growing up. That was words that were used. Yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, Eddie Murphy, and, and nobody like, knew. Yeah, nobody seriously. knew how hurtful they actually were. Of the negative connotation. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. this was cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like it. That's cool. So does anyone have any questions? Like, and while we're in the chat, we'll... Uh, and plus, like, a lot of people, like, if they were going for a reading, right? They're going to... They want an experience. Yeah. And they want to be positive. But, they, like, they're, they would enjoy that because that's what they're going for. They're not going there and be like, no, uh, just, uh, you know, uh, you're doing good. <laughs> you know, like... Oh, yeah. I was they testing want something, you. yeah. I so, paid you $40 to test you. Yeah, it's you like, you're that. like, oh, my God, everything is looking great. And, um, yeah. all right, cool. All right, you're doing great. <laughs> One last thing. I would get your butt checked. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you probably have cancer. You have that ass cancer. <laughs> you got ass cancer. <laughs> that be something? What card told you that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, way in the beginning. <laughs> way there was in the... There, I, just, I, didn't whole, want to, I don't want to lead off with that. There was a whole card. Uh, that <laughs> there was a whole card. <laughs> and then I got the ass card. It was the, the world can- card, but it looked like a butthole. Yeah. So. <laughs> and death was the beginning. So we wanted to keep you really uplifted and positive, but you're gonna die. Yeah, you're see, no, no, gonna not die. my not that stuff, but my mom would love this because she loves really? all this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. And she went to one years ago. I know, but I think she was like in Deer Lake area, but this is probably going back for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But she liked it. Like, she would go and, like, you can, whatever, as long as she had, like, a positive experience from it, she would have been happy. Yeah, and that's all, that's all I, I really do is, and, and even if there is something that, like, could be turned as negative, usually it's, when I read something that's classified as negative, it's usually, like, a fear. Okay. Or it's usually, like, um, outside opinions or, like, um, usually things that would hinder somebody from growth. So like, that's how I take it. Like if I see something and I'm getting a feeling like, Oh, so-and-so is like, cause there's a card in here. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's a, a seven of swords, five of swords, but it's like technically like the sneaky card where it's somebody Ooh. picking up like in the distance, like picking up swords and running off. And okay. it's just like, so like that is something where I could just be like, Oh, there may or may not, or this, or you could be whatever. So it's like, even with those types of cards and those connotations, there's still always a positive way to come out oh, because cool, I, yeah. yeah so so earlier in the in the podcast we did talk about this uh the question was will tori come and do private readings mm-hmm. i guess at your home yeah um she would but with the covid right now you, you're you're kind of more focused on doing them over the internet yeah i could do that or um i mean depending on what the laws are depending on uh the social distancing practice whatever i mean um, it's still beautiful outside, so I'd be down to like hanging out outside with someone or like going to a park or something like that too. So I mean, you could always just message me and we can just talk about yeah, it. And, yeah. and right now, her rates are uh, forty dollars a reading dur- yeah. during COVID. during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would have been if I would pay for it. Be one of happy. And, and here's oh, the thing thanks, too: man. there's a lot of times where I would I, I would pay you to, uh, to do it for my mom because she would love it. Oh, that yeah. would be awesome. So, and and, and we that. we would be great. Christmas or birthday gifts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cool thing too is like, I know for me personally, I, get I like, do parties too. Yeah. I do. I did a Halloween party last year and that was really, really good. Oh, so. that's cool. Um, mm-hmm. A tattoo may cost 150 bucks, but it doesn't hurt to throw an extra 50 at your artist. Just that's saying. right. That's right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so just putting that out there. Yeah. Um, do you, you want, want you want, you, I'll do one real quick. See how okay. it goes. All right. All we'll right. See. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be interesting. Yeah, 
Interesting. Interesting. I'm, I'm a lazy party. cutter. And then, that's I, 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 I just play <laughs> He's poker. Like, oh, I'm done. Wait, you forgot one. Nope, that's the important oh. one. Oh, that's all right. That's, that's my, the that's, important that's one. That's the uh, that's a scrapped one. That's a yeah. your son of a bitch card. All right, I have a sword. <laughs> I'm killing people immediately. Ooh, there we go. Get all different cards already. Range, okay. And now this is it's gonna make Ooh. more sense because I know you more. So it's like I'm just like pulling over. I don't mean to be like that asshole where it's like. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh huh. It figures. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> like Charlie. <laughs> Typical. Like I didn't even know the guy. Typical. Oh, I'm playing quickly. Oh yeah, that's me. All right. All right. So well, the first ones that were pulled out here are the Page of Swords. Reversed. Reversed. The hero oh, yeah, that's right. It's not facing you. It's yeah. Facing, yeah. You're the word reading. The swords. hero fin reversed. Which is a cleric. Yeah. A dude yeah. with a bunch of swords stuck in his boat. Yeah, <laughs> do the so he's are... fucked. Well, and it's funny because the hierophant um, looks has like the to pope. do. He does look like the pope, and he has to do a lot about uh, tradition. Okay. Um, and he's on his head, so it's the idea of, and for me, because okay, so the page of swords is reversed, so it's like, I almost feel like it's like because the, the page I said before, where it's just like like your inner child and whatnot. So it's like that. And the, with the clouds in the back, that makes me think of like the fantasy, the idea of like, and that's on its head. So it's like pursuing, pursuing that dream, pursuing that dream and wanting to do something that is, is creative and that helps out. And it also feeds your inner child. And mm. so it's on its head um, for, and that could just also mean, cause there's a lot of reverse here. Like there was a lot of reverse there and I get a lot of reverse just because of the time that we're in, because everything's kind of on its head because of COVID. So that's just kind of might be how it is. Um, but the hero fent is on the hero fent is on his head because he's about tradition and all sorts of stuff. So he's on his head. So it's like that non-traditional um, career path, which could just mute the podcast and everything mm -hmm. else that you do. I have to come um, a little closer. Whoop. You're Hello. Good. Go. I do this once every podcast because yeah. my hands because <laughs> my yeah. hands come out and I don't want to hit that. So I always just back up. Then you get her like a headset. Yeah, I'm bring it around here so I can just do whatever I want. Like the Britney Spears on tour, Mike. Yes, <laughs> free Britney. It's Britney anyway, uh, it's Britney, bitch. Um, this card I always see, and that's the Six of Swords. That means I, I really want things, but my ship is fucking sinking. Literally, that's. <laughs> but but here's the thing. That's what it's it says. That's what it says the right side up. But like when it's reversed, it's like the swords are starting to fall out of the bottom of the boat. So it's like and no matter how much you throw at me, I'm fucking yeah. standing. Yeah, yeah, man. Suck it. Yeah, so that's that's what I see. It's just like trucking through even though all of these things are against you, but as reversed as it is, it's almost like a lot of, because a lot of the readings that I get around here too is like people having fear about or like having questions about whatever, and then it's just like seeing 2020 as a blessing even though all these terrible things are happening because in numerology and with my spiritual side of it, it 2020 is a very big year for a lot of things and like a lot of bad things are coming out to the surface but there's a lot of new growth coming and a lot of really good opportunities coming mm. so seeing 2020 is more of a blessing at least that's what i do i don't mean to spiritually like gaslight no, people honestly, i know that's a big thing that people that's are just been a like, huge mind step for me this whole thing is like yeah honestly i i i, I mean you're we kind of been bouncing this off each other for a while it's like a lot of people could sit back during this and be like this is all terrible but a lot of people are sitting back thinking this is a good time to rebuild, regroup, and find out what you really want to focus on. What if you were a toilet paper company? And that actually, yeah. It's a wonderful time. Yeah. <laughs> and that's actually what this is right here because that's saying like there's all of these things right here and then like being able to focus on actually what you want to do during this time. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's that there. But it, like, and also the other energy that I'm going to hear in the Four of Cups is now what's set up here in the Four of Cups, there's um, three cups like in, in the forefront and then there's a guy coming out of the woods and there's like a godly hand coming and handing another cup. Mm. So that's kind of like the idea of opportunities or something that had once fed you a certain way, even though all these cups are full and they're waiting for you. There's this other thing that's kind of like just coming in that's just kind of like, here's an opportunity that you might want to look at and you're just like, that's it. So there was truth behind truth the behind the illusion. <laughs> God's like start another podcast. <laughs> truth, truth series. You, don't you have, have three. Other, you have a million other ones, but try <laughs> another one. Um, and then the five of uh, five of wands card um, is reversed and upright. It's always about like a conflict or like fighting, and that could be an inner conflict or conflict with other people. Um, but it's reversed. So while you keep pushing on and keep pushing that dream and whatnot, 
and even though like it's it's that idea of like at one time having things stacked against you internally situationally and then also with other people but by continuing to go against the grain because I think because I just got into my head that people are going to be mad that you're going against the grain People are going to be mad because that like, you're pursuing. Life. That people people are always mad at people for pursuing their dreams because they're always mad that they didn't get to pursue That's their true. own dreams. This is true. And so they always they always come back and it's just like, well, you should be miserable like me. Mm -hmm. And you say, no, I'm not going to be miserable like you and I'm going to do what I want to do and you can be fucking mad about it. That's fine. So like that's that's what I see there. Working on your craft. Look at that mustache. Look at that mustache. Yeah. Tom Selleck right there. And he's just and he's <laughs> it's Tom Selleck. And he's building he's building devil stars. He, yeah. He, he's he's got some he got some arms on him too. He does. Right? Look at that. He's but working for Satan right Satan, there. Satan, <laughs> Satan, <laughs> satanic Tom Selleck, part of the satanic <laughs> Hollywood cult. That's what that's all about. <laughs> satanic Tom Selleck. Yeah. Anton LaVey got Tom Selleck, Magnum PI, all stood for <laughs> pentagrams and uh I don't know. I wish I could grow a cool solo mustache with that. <laughs> That gap. You want to gift it with the, the, the thick mustache. <laughs> but yeah, I see that. Just Thank you so much for the like on the stream. <gasps> Thank you. I don't know who you are. Terry. Oh. Terry. Thank you, Terry. Terry. Terry Runnels. I don't want to mispronounce your last name in Offender. But thank uh, you for the like. I yeah, really appreciate it. Thank you it. so, so much. Yeah, thanks. Once again, if you guys are listening, please hit that share button. Let people know we're here and this podcast exists. And make sure to check the links below when this is all over. And follow us on all social media. And there's the two previous podcasts so you can catch up. Yeah, you can check. You can binge watch uh, the other episodes or you can go and listen, listen to them on yeah, audio yeah, only. Yeah. Yeah, you're, so you're when you it. click that link tree, it's going to pull up all of our shows. So it's going to mm -hmm. have our... Uh, donations if you w would like to do so it'll have a merch page where if you don't want to donate and you want something physical for it you can go buy a t-shirt or a hoodie or anything like that um, and then the, sh the links below will be the IWEP networks which mm -hmm. is like all the shows together all the branches that merch page will have all of the shows uh, t-shirts and merchandise on it um, but you guys can check it out and then any anywhere you listen to podcasts so there's a few of the big ones on there Google, Apple, Spotify um, Anchor which is where mm -hmm. we're made affiliated with um, and also Pocket Cast. So you can Ooh. check those out. And then YouTube, Twitch, anywhere you can find us. Um, we are working to help get our YouTube a little bit more uh, subscribers. So if you guys are watching uh, after this is over, please just head over to our YouTube page and just give us a subscribe. If we get closer to 1,000, we become monetized. That and, would be fantastic. And then, depending on how good our videos do by being watched, we can make uh, an income and off of If you're watching YouTube. on a video game system, this should push, push down on your D-pad. It'll pop up and just go over and hit the little three buttons and you can yeah. like and subscribe right there. It's yep. real easy. Damn. So though even it is that easy. Even Facebook, I believe, the more views you get, mm -hmm. I think Facebook will cut you. Like, yep. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. back to that algorithm. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, it, all, it, all, it all comes down. It literally all comes down to word of mouth. This show, we have a. Regardless of that, we're not here doing it to hopefully get the numbers and the likes and stuff. No, they help. We, yeah, but this grow this the growth of these podcasts and anything that people create, whether it be music, art, mm -hmm. anything, it all comes down to word of mouth and people's yep. recommendation mm -hmm. and reviews. That's another thing you do too. You can write a review on our like page. Yeah, that would be and, wonderful. Uh, or even just like comment on our page or and say, "Hey, don't listen, like it, tell a friend." Yeah. yeah. Hey, um, I don't like wrestling, but hey, you like wrestling. The comment section. I think super I valuable. think Tara was shit, but my cousin's <laughs> friend <laughs> likes it. <laughs> when someone sees a video and they see all of the comment sections blowing up and lighting up, it says, "Oh, they're very interactive. Yeah, they're cool to talk to." So oh, that, that makes me feel so happy. You guys are you and guys are absolutely the happening killing things. People yeah. look at them like, "Hey!" So we really truly appreciate it. All right, let's okay. let's get back to my reading. Go back to, <laughs> um, to Satanic out, Tom Selleck. Trying to find yeah. out how I'm working for the devil here. But it's it, it it's just right there. It's like he's just working on his craft. He has his head down. He's just working on his craft. Uh, the King of Cups is reversed underneath the Hierophant. So that to me just kind of says that because. You're going against tradition. There are people that, um, like I had said before, that are going to be like, mur, 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 mur. and I think that may, to some extent, even like a hair still affect you because he's on his head. So like there's like, that's holding you back from being just like 100% the king of cups, the king of balance, the balance yeah, of emotion. Absolutely. It's definitely a burden on me right now. Yeah. And then there's um, the two of pentacles and that just, that's, every time I see that, just like a card of balancing. Um, and that could be um, balancing everything in your life, or that could be the idea of, uh, I don't know which one to put first. I don't know when to do this. I don't know what to do that. Or it could just be a, a balancing act and just, uh, just it is what it is. But it is another gateway because it's two. So no matter which you choose, it might be two versions of a different reality, but it's still 
any choice you take is the right choice. Yeah. Interesting about so far this reading, just because I have done a podcast before where I had my cards read. Mm -hmm. And one of the big things that came up with my card, a lot of these, I'm not sure the exact same cards have come up, but some mm -hmm. of these have had similar, similar meanings. Mm -hmm. But the four of cups have come up twice. And I think in that one, she said she sees it as it could be about four years till you see your success pay off. You could, yeah, that could be. Yeah. Yeah, that could be. And if that's what you relate to, or that could just be a validation to see if that's, that could just be a validation to maybe now that some time has passed, go back and rewatch that yeah. and remind yourself of everything that she said, because it could have been, I don't know how long ago it was, but it's yeah. always nice. But to, I do remember a four being a big number in mm -hmm. that. It, yeah. yeah. So that could, that, even though it still has meaning going along with this, um, that could just be, you know, when you have some free time, go back and relook at that and yeah, revisit it's, that it's, 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 it's as a comparison. Yeah. yeah. And so mm -hmm. then the Nine of Swords. So um, it's a little bondage there. It's it is it's a little mm -hmm. Jabari. Look at that. Yeah. Um, but when I see it, it's 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 right 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 away from a, a ten, and a ten is the completion of a cycle. Like I said, like the Ten of Swords is like like the ending of something. It's the idea of being tied down to not too many opportunities being tied down to a lot of external things because your hands are tied so you can't really do anything about, but it that just to me that's just saying like that's external things and you kind of feeling like maybe going back to being affected to that and kind of just feeling like tied because it's like you know with <laughs> <laughs> with cancel culture it's just like i again like it's just like that restraint mm -hmm. to like can, be like, careful what i say be careful what i say like i i like i, I pretty much talk i talk i talk all the time like this and that but then it's just kind of like with the king of king of swords right next to it it's just kind of just the king and the queen of swords are just good at cutting out bullshit so it's just like cut it whatever it doesn't serve us just keep going and then the ace of swords is right here and that's that um that's that victory of, that's like once you get rid of all the bullshit, then the opportunity with the wreath and all mm. the, the pretty roses will be here for you. Awesome. Yeah. How about it? It's fantastic. Uh, anyone else have any questions before we get into our closing segments here? Mm -hmm. This is fun. Yeah, this it's fun. cool. It's I like the I, art. I, I, I think the art. Is, love the art. I believe, is so cool. I think this is my favorite deck so far. Look at strength. I love that card. Strength. I can you watch, try and read me. I can watch people. Yeah, yeah. That you would should be try. Fun. Yeah, see what that you get. Fun. Yeah. All right. I can I, watch. I know you're going to be good at it. I really? know. I know you're going to be. All good right. At I'm going to do a reading. All right. Here, I have I to shuffle. Should, you have to shuffle, shuffle the cards. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Ready? I'm going to do something really weird. You ready? Whoa! <laughs> she blew all of our chakras off. That she didn't. She would. She. Went I don't want that, none of that shit on here. She didn't want all that male toxic shit on there. Toxicity. Hex the patriarchy. So I do four, eight cards total. Whatever you want, man. All right. <laughs> I don't care. Read all 72. You're going to give you a full, yeah. full reading. I'm going to check oh, you out. I'm ready. I have. Am I allowed to put a little humor to this? Of course I'm you are. It wouldn't be you if it wasn't. It's your reading. I, I'm literally just going to look at the pictures of the card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and make it up as I go. But you know what's funny? Well, that's what I do. I just yeah. make it up as I go and I look at the card and see whatever. I but see. here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's every time you make a joke about a serious situation... It always comes true, and it pisses me off. It does. It does. <laughs> you'd be like, Cause you're a peacock dick. because your shirt's going That's old. so funny because I've seen... That's actually really funny because I've seen... For like this past week, I've been seeing peacocks everywhere. Really? Like actual wow. in in like I've been driving by in my parents' like back roads and whatnot, mm -hmm. and people that I don't even think own peacocks. There's just peacocks like in different places. When you see one walking around like in farms, it's like whoa, look at that. That's it's a it's, spiritual experience for yeah. me. <laughs> I, I was like, so, I see one in there Higgins one time. I was like, oh my god, peacock. <laughs> what we got That's here. actually another uh, a, a shout out to my mom with the with the peacock because one time my parents were driving along a road and. Uh, my mom. They hit one. Oh. No, there was a, a there was it a bird. Tastes good. I mean, there was a bird in the middle of the road, and uh, my mom could only think of one bird because she was in panic, so she just started screaming peacock. <laughs> and my dad slowed down and started screaming turkey because it was an actual turkey and it wasn't a peacock. Close enough. What are we have for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Peacock. <laughs> well, it, hey, you're, you're the whatever <laughs> the, the reading. Oh, you got a poll on you too. Okay, as Tony draws four cards here. We All got right, the so king of rods first. Though. You got the king of the rods, which means <laughs> no matter what bullshit I say, <laughs> I'm so ready. Just keep pushing forward. <laughs> it means you Hell like yeah. um, you like rods. Just put your stick in the ground and 
<laughs> keep moving. All, All right. right. Yeah. Part that C. All right. All right. Now you have the King of Swords. Uh, two kings. Two kings. The King of Rods is cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's so king, cool. But the King cool. of Swords looks like he has some wheat. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, let me look at this here. He, he's got uh, some wheat. He's, he's got, got some, some vines. It looks like, honestly, it looks like better living conditions. You know what I mean? He, it just looks, oh. the sky is bluer. The clouds are behind him. This is like a desert. It just looks like terrible. You know what I mean? He's, yeah, no, he's, you're right. Yeah, he's pushing through shit. And he's just like, he's got all of the fruits and bounties of his life. All right, and this okay. one was... Yeah, that, no, is the, that, the, was the that way. regard yeah, Was yes. that regard to me or what do you think of other, other people? This is this is this is you still. So this is this is just being patient me with me. Me and my me. rod. Yeah, this is. Oh, okay. That's patience with me because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Give <laughs> right. this man where, patience. Where are we going? This saying. this guy here mm -hmm. is is saying that no matter what you're doing, he's got a lot going on. He's got his he got his flowers. Oh, yeah. He's got his utopia. He's got his, his at, wheat. His wheat. Yes. He can make beer with that. Maybe he's gonna make I was bread. gonna say as a hops. Yeah. Um, this guy has a stick, right? So he if shit got real, I mean he. <laughs> Not many times. You can only get a few whacks at your stick before shit gets, you know, before it breaks. You're right. You're right. This guy has a sword. You could take a lot more whack. Less things are going to attack you. If you, some people will come up to you and you have a stick, you know, they're going to yeah, come out. Yeah, you're going to mess with the guy with probably... the stick. This is a sword. Yeah. So this means to me, yeah. keep pushing, because I heard you already told me that earlier. Yeah. And this one, <laughs> you told me the meaning of that. This one means uh, he has, like I said, he's bountiful, better living conditions, blue skies, uh, sword. Less people are going to mess with you because you're more confident and you got wheat. things going on. We got that. We got that. Maybe we got that. Getting big, that bread. Maybe she really likes wheat bread. Yeah, I do like. All wheat right. Bread. So then we have the. Uh, I hope this is an offensive, but this is <laughs> this is the black gypsy woman. No, that's that's how I read it. The voodoo, uh, the voodoo with, lady with the devil all around her, Rock, which is which is always which is always good, and she has also <laughs> a possible crow peacock. Yeah, like this a hybrid going on there on her shoulder. Peacock. Yeah. She also has grapes. And, um, and love wine. So I, I, I see her as very mystical and spiritual. So I think this ties in with the King of Swords saying that you're mental, you're, you're strong physically. You can handle more than you think you can. Yes, I can. There but you also, you're also your third eye and your spiritual side is strong as well. Sick. All right, I'm doing this, guys. And yeah, you're... this is really good. See what I'm talking about? He's just like, I'm gonna just bullshit yeah. my way through it. And he's just like, here's some truth bombs. Yeah. Here's yeah. some spiritual truth. And bombs. you like great. So this is <laughs> this is facing you. Yeah. These are all facing you. Yep. So Except this, for this is one, this one's facing you. This is facing this is upside down. That's a reverse. Mm. So this is a dude and a girl who want to share a cup, but they're yeah. a little hesitant on sharing their cups together. Whoa. So I think this may tie back to the original <laughs> one where you should just stay the course. You know what I mean? You're mentally strong, don't get overcome by the upside down man with the cool <laughs> Rambo head bun. All right. Yeah. Don't go without Rambo. Yeah. I mean, no, he could be a karate kid. Listen, he's probably a good person. I just think there's conflict there. It's upside down. You do have the same hair color. They're not. Sh they're, true. they're they're they want to share their cup, but they're physically not sharing it. But yet. they both have their own. Wait, no, does he have two cups? They're doing. Oh, the they both have a cup. Oh, the both, oh okay. She has okay, the cup okay, in the okay, middle, and he has the cup all the way towards okay. her. Okay. Yeah. I, I. I. All right. Here you go. Bitch. You just call. This. You just call out something here. Yeah. He's saying you're more willing to share your cup, and he's trying to put it past your head. So he's not willing to share his cup fully. Where you're more like, here, have a drink. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing it like he's like drink this. She's like, no, I already got this. See? But I, I think she has it closer to his lips than he does to her. Maybe she's saying drink my my cup. Yes, yeah. that's what she's saying. Like, enjoy my yeah, cup, yeah, and he's yeah, like, yeah. Oh. It's, or instead of saying this is mine, you, you might have the Rona. I don't, don't want to give you my yeah. cup yet. <laughs> a lot of different ways. You can keep going, keep going. All this right. is good. All right. Oh boy. Hey. All right. <laughs> Jesus, I don't want to read that card. <laughs> 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 Here we go. <laughs> so, this is the, uh, there's a lot going on here in this card. That's the lover's card? Yeah, it's the lover's, lover's card. card. And, and it's, they're it's, loving? It's facing you. Yep. So, I think <laughs> this is probably going to turn into this right here, mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. Some people are just going to be in a bed of tulips, just uh, with red <laughs> hair. A tulip. With red hair. Just with red curly hair. With mm -hmm. red curly hair, looking like a yeah, man of Jesus. But there, <laughs> you're not with Rambo there. You're with, uh, um, what's his name? Yeah. From uh, Aquaman. Yeah, you're with <laughs> Jason Momoa. <laughs> Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. <laughs> and, yeah. So if Rambo asks you out, say no, because Jason Momoa was coming. <laughs> Very true. Very I'm, true. Not, I'm not a fan of Jason Momoa. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, sorry. So this lady, mm -hmm. she uh, looks like Little Red Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does. She does. She does. You got eight cups here. 
Oh, I gotta put my hair up because this is getting, it's getting hot. personal. <laughs> yeah, it's getting personal. <laughs> I'm reading some stuff here. It's it's weird that yeah. You know, anyway, I know, I know, um, I know. So this is eight cups towards you. She also has red hair. <laughs> yep. Um, it's it's uh it's two cups away from how many podcasts I do. <laughs> Um, the moon's not quite full, mm-hmm. so it's, I guess, quarter cycle. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's quarter cycle. So I don't know how any of this correlates. I kind of lost my train of thought. So I, like 25 just, cents. Should have stopped at four cards. I was killing <laughs> 25 it. 25 cents. Yeah. And like the drink. Um, know, like it's like a quarter. It's 25, so 25 percent. So if that dude buys you a quarter drink, take it. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> that makes sense. There's, this is a pushback on love. Mm-hmm. And then this, and then the love commences, right? But I think after the love commences, Uh-oh. it's not quite a full cycle or moon or connection. Oh. I don't know what the eight stands for. I'm going to figure that out in a minute. But <laughs> she is off to see her grandmother or mother because this wolf man looking dude has her very got to get her has her very confused. <laughs> um, so there, there there may be time. Where that connection has to process. Mm-hmm. All right. Beware the wolf. I'm, I'm figuring things out. I don't know what the eight means yet. The eight means Maybe something. Maybe the eight, eight is your number. It will last eight is my numerology so number. Eight weeks, eight months, eight years. Holy shit, eight months. I know. What's that card? No, that, can, can you describe that card? All right, so this card is a sandcastle <laughs> with flowers mm-hmm. and two sticks. <laughs> well, four sticks. Okay. Kind of like, like, like an entryway. Wow. <laughs> he, just had a, he had an epiphany. He did. He's going to build a sandcastle. That looks like, looks like an altar. And then that's, that's the marriage card. And oh, then past, yeah, it looks that. like marriage. It looks like past the altar will be your dream home. Oh, wow. Holy shit. So, yeah. I forget how this was. I it's like that. Was, was it like this? Yep. Yes. So, it's upside down, so that means mm-hmm. the opposite of everything. Ooh. So, maybe you think... That it's after going that way, after the not. connection and you go to leave because it's not a full connection, then the idea of this may come, but it may not be good for you. Mm. Ooh, that's and cool. then this blonde haired dude with another sword. He he, he sweeps you away. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's another dude. I think I don't know. I don't know what this means. Uh, page of Swords. He's a page. I don't remember what you said about page people. They're younger. Younger. Younger child, like children, but. Inner child. Okay. He looks pretty serious. Mm. So he's serious about that wedding. I see. I see. Or about the not wedding. Like, all right. So <laughs> the the cloud, the clouds are orange. The, the sky's orange. There, the pillar has fallen down. It, mm. Maybe turmoil. Maybe this isn't this. I don't get anything. Oh jeez. I get nothing good from that card. Mm. So you're are you saying that possibly marriage, but then they I think the, I think the idea <laughs> of marriage may. Oh. Matter. But, Oh, but then he, like I think the idea, I think the idea of a d- serious connection may be there. Uh-huh. But then this is saying like you're gonna go through some shit, oh, but geez. keep your mind kid like and overcome. I'm gonna pull some. Keep going, first. yeah. No, <laughs> I enjoy, enjoy. That's interesting that that. Co- oh, that's okay. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. All, All right. right. I like the angel. So the cups is upside down. He's the um, knight of cups. The knight of cups mm-hmm. is upside down. Uh, he is a warrior. He has a, he has a cup, but he has a big ass cup. <laughs> oh, that, oh yeah. there you go. Yeah, he he's got a lot going on. Um, I think, uh, and and like if, once again, I think the, it's, it looks like better pasture. Looks like everything's going mm-hmm. good there. More blues. More mm-hmm. blues. Um, but it's upside down, so I think maybe uh, the 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 possibility of of it's going to take a while is what I'm seeing because it's mm-hmm. upside down. So. Stay true to your course, and your cup will be full, and you can be the the, the knight of the cups. Not quite a king, but a knight, a knight right? right? In a nice field. In a nice. The field. Empr- em- empress or em- empress. Em- empress. Empress. Uh, she 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 looks like she has her whole life figured out. Half moon. Mm-hmm. She has it conquered. It's under her feet. Mm-hmm. Um, waterfalls. The whole nine. Once again, upside side down. So it's probably not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, that means that that could be where you're leading. Mm-hmm. And then it ties into this. This, this you got to be an angel. Temperance. This temperance. I gotta die. Yeah, well, I just who, gotta die. Who, yeah, but you get powers. Who powers. has who has figured it all out? It's facing you. Mm-hmm. There's flowers. It looks like just eternal peace. That's what. Yeah, temperance. The temperance and, card. And she's not only 
uh, she has so much in her cup, she's willing to give it to others. So maybe, oh. maybe this is a, it was technically a general reading. Maybe this isn't the future. Maybe this is something that has already come to pass. Ooh. And you went through tor- turmoil just like this. And this is where you are currently. Okay. And you're at the point now where your cup has so overflown that you are willing to give it to others. Boom. Fuck you. Fuck Nailed you. It. Fuck you. I had, I, had your, <laughs> I had your whole mind thinking the entire time that you were going somewhere. And then you pulled the... And then I fucking tarantino it. <laughs> no, you did, you did Shyamalan. I sh- I, Shyamalan. Oh, Shyamalan. Oh, you were, it was a dream the whole time. <laughs> The it yeah. never happened. That was really good. I knew you would be. I knew you would be able to do it. Yeah, I like, knew you would. And I don't know anything about these cards, so I literally just looked at the pictures. That's thought, some, that's the best. I honest to God, like I love getting a fresh deck and mm-hmm. not knowing shit about it, and then just going through and just. Man, so what, it, cool. what does this mean to you? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> you probably already know. We'll talk later about that. But it is very, very. Do you uh, think this is the past, present, or future? Well, here's the thing. You had a, you as the reader. At first, I was getting future, and mm-hmm. then when I looked at it, once it all kind of came to conclusion, mm-hmm. I feel like this is a possible journey that you have made previously. This, this had happened, and this, because if this had been in the past, absolutely, because there was a relationship with someone that I did think I was going to marry, and then he went off into the military, and things completely crashed. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. How about mm-hmm. that? So and uh, you didn't know that. And a lot right? of it a lot of it was upside down, so it was like it could be there but it's just not th- quite there yet. Mm-hmm. But then it all wrapped up with this amazing not so much amazing. The temperance I mean, card. she's still alone, which kind of sucks, you, but you but ascended. she has but she has majestic wings. I think when people see her they're taken back by her. And I Oh and, my god. Right? Well, I mean if if if, if this <laughs> I do believe if this I do declare yeah. if if, if uh, <laughs> If Hillary Clinton flew to you with giant angel wings. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Um, no. I'm okay. <laughs> She's like, I'll kill you. Can you, can um, you fly away? Yeah. Uh, no, but she... Um, She's hanging out. Cedar yeah. Rapids. And, but she has stuff to... She, has, sure she has enough to offer other people. There you go. Mm-hmm. I see the water dumping in from one cup to the other, which means she... she her, her foot's in the water. It is. She's so testing she, out. So testing not just out. that. She has, she has enough to go around because she knows... This, I'm, my foot's in here. It's mine, mm-hmm. and I already have a full cup. I can I can help other people. I already I always I always say that when I talk about like um, certain things, because I have a tendency. To I charge thirty eight dollars. Thirty eight dollars. <laughs> I have a tendency to when um, I talk. To, I, I my whole idea is just like I want to help other people, and so I always say like when my friends are always just like no like like. You have to help yourself, like too, da da da, and it's like I'm at the point in my life where <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> so <it's> like, <laughs> I'm at the point where um, I feel like I'm able to be able to center myself, and I'm mm-hmm. able to refill my own self emotionally. Like I'm able to now take care of myself, and I mm-hmm. realize that not a lot of people are at that stage yet. Yeah, so I'm true. okay with just like, give, 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 give. I'm a little tired. Replenish myself. Give, 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 give type. So that's. Oh, well, that's close. No, no, that's very close. Now, if someone wants to come and let's say they, they want to read it, but they only want to hear about uh, love or, or, or thing. Like, can you do one that just like, just, just about that? Like they just want yeah. to know about their love life or about their business or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could definitely do that. Um, there might be some cards that pop in just to like throw, I mean, it all comes out. I mean, I can't really control it. I yeah. mean, I am the one with the cards, but at the same time, they're going to show you what they want to show you. Yeah. So, but now, I mean, I can meditate more on that kind of energy that will pull. Yeah, like they, they want yeah. a specific. Topic. Now, when it yes. comes to when people say like, "Oh, there, you you might see like," because uh, here's a lot of things too. When people see psychics or tarot card readings or stuff like that, and mm-hmm. like they see it like at the shore, or they see it where tourists are, or you see someone with a sign in the window. Um, can they be taken seriously, or or or, or, or are they, they just hucksters? Yeah. Well, this is and this is this is like what, how do you dis- how do you deceive the bullshit? Well, they're finding the truth behind illusion. Mm-hmm. Um, ding, ding. This is what I always say, and it doesn't. And I say this as a person, as like a spiritual mentor, as a spiritual person, as a reader, as a teacher, whatnot. Um, my job doing this is so you don't have to come to me for other things. So what that means is I try to help people 
to get to the point where they can understand their own discernment and trust their own gut. So like, I don't want to just be around and be that person over that person's shoulders being like, you can't, you can't trust that psychic. You can't do that. Okay. It's that idea of if you walk into their shop, how do you feel? If you meet this person, how do you feel? And trust your gut. Because you might have that little bit of what, like the um, FOMO, that fear of missing out if you decide not to get it. But at the same time, if you trust your gut and your gut says, I don't think I like this or I don't think this is going to work for me, then that is what is correct for you. Mm. So if you want to go to the shore and you want to go to a $50 psychic and you feel like it's awesome and you're there, go for it. Do, do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Like you live your own life. And if it turns out to be horseshit, then that's... That's just another lesson that you have to learn about discernment. Now, also when it comes to um, readings, mm -hmm. how much stock should you take into it as someone who's getting their cards read? Should, should, it, should it, obviously this isn't all, I don't want to use the word gospel, but it's not mm -hmm. all gospel. It can, it's, mm -hmm. it, it is open, once again, it is open for interpretation. So the person, like kind of what we did, we read it, but it, not so much help the person, but maybe put them on a better, like, yeah. I feel like if you're closed-minded and you're like, I'm not telling you anything, it's your job to figure it out. Like, mm -hmm. you're, you're, I don't think that's the I've, way to go I've into it. That. Yeah. You know? I've had that. I, I don't think you should go. I, just This is just the skeptic talking now. Mm -hmm. I think some of the things with the show, like <laughs> with the reading, can be accurate. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but a lot of it can be because I don't know. You, you, we know each other. Yeah, absolutely. But, so we had a dynamic here where I somewhat know you. Mm -hmm. I know some things. And I, we thought the whole time reading it that it was more current events, but it also yeah. could have been past, which I had no clue about. Yep. Um, you don't know Andy at all. Yeah. Nope. And then you know, hey, nice and then <laughs> you, and then you know me based on just kind of the same general yeah. idea that I know you, just pay, pretty much the present. Mm -hmm. uh, we know a little bit about my past because we've had conversations, but more or less of what my future goals are. So right. what you know kind of feeds into your reading as well. Absolutely. Um, but it so it is something to. I wouldn't put your full stock of your faith and humanity on it. No. But it is something like, hey, maybe I yeah. should. Don't, like, if you ever go to anything like that, don't, like, believe it fully, like, if they say, like, something where it's like, you should do a different uh, career path. Don't quit your job the next day. Yeah. Like, no, don't, absolutely Don't not. be an extremist. And, and, here's, and here's the thing I always say, as humans, we have free choice. We have free will. Yeah. So if you decide one day to wake up, and if you say if you got a reading and you're just like, and it's, like saying, like, if somebody, like, you're at, like, a psychic and they say, like, oh, like, da 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 you have free will no matter what you do. And you can choose to do whatever they say or you could choose to do a million different things. And the way, then those, those little decisions that you make go off on different paths. Mm -hmm. And, like, the universe is ever-expanding. You're ever-expanding. You're ever-growing. Um, you ha We have free will and our, like, our own choices. So, I mean... Now, when it comes to taking it, like, take it, w take it for what it's worth. Take it for what you feel. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's nothing, then take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. So it's it, it's it's all about your path and your journey and wherever. Now, how is. much how much does this scenario affect your reading personally? Because you're on camera and you're on microphone. I have never. Uh, no? it, it made me. I was very nervous. I had to meditate a lot before this because I'm I'm used to just like because you have possibilities of outside people watching and. Predetermining. Yeah. yeah, and so like I mean, I've never—I don't want to say never, but I've never given a completely wrong reading. So like I was like in the drive here, I was just like, "What if today is the fucking day?" Yeah. I was like, "What?" Like some I'm doubt. like, "Yeah, nope, yeah." Nope, I never did that. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, "What if today's the day when I am live on our podcast and I just give a complete butt reading?" Like I like so there was that fear behind it. Yeah. So I mean, there I'm a little bit because like we're live and like I've. Never done. I'm usually if I'm doing a reading, For an audience. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I never do like gallery readings or anything. Like if I do it, it's with one on one or like with my camera. Yeah, and it's more comfortable to be in my own energy and not worried about yeah. however many people are watching. But well, um, th that's the beauty of these podcasts on the whole network mm -hmm. is is. The, the, the camera is here, not so much for us. I mean, we play into it now because live streaming, we, we want to interact with our chat. <laughs> but more or less is we, what we want for this podcast to represent is if being you, if you were a fly in the wall in someone's conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so we're talking about the paranormal, supernatural, and these conversations happen every day in people's kitchens or... This isn't a kitchen. This is a podcast no, studio. It's not the kitchen. This is a all. giant building in a thirteenth <laughs> floor. No way. Yeah, yeah. In the uh, warehouse. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like, even with our wrestling podcast, it's just a bunch of people who 
are passionate about the sport who just want to talk about it. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and you're kind of the fly in the wall joining in on the conversation. Um, and that's, and that's, that's kind of what podcasts are in general. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want people to think like, I don't know, it's, it's it, like that. I mean that there is some stress to it when you're doing something that may relate to something like this because mm-hmm. the judgment and the doubt and stuff will be there. Oh, so yeah. I have the beer burps. Um, <laughs> beer burps. But yeah, so overall that's kind of a, a, a very quick I like this mm-hmm. one. synopsis. Like what what is I, going on there? Oh, uh, that that's one? uh that's uh um that's the uh, card for like um when you put up walls around yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's a woman it's like that's you, tied like, up, she's blindfolded and mm-hmm. she has a gag over her mouth and there's swords all around her. Yep. That's I see that as a very trusting woman. <laughs> Maybe. And here, here is here a is a woman that's willing to bound herself <laughs> for yeah. you. Here is young David Crosby summoning she, the devil. She, <laughs> she. I'm sorry. She, this woman here is uh, willing for you to tie her up, blindfold <laughs> her, gag her, and drop swords around her. Whoa. She's she's faithful. She's, she's a ride or die. She's yeah. loyal. Yeah. She's a ride or die. And then I see that from like the female she's perspective, lo- she, and I'm like, sh- don't go there. <laughs> well, hold on. I wasn't done. She's loyal, but it's not smart loyalty. To a fault. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like yep. this, this, this means Some of these cards to are really me because cool. cool? I'm now a professional at this, ladies and gentlemen. He, to me, more, this more means this. This means you are willing to love is blind, oh. and you are willing to do whatever it can and maybe restrain yourself and and blind yourself and not speak on what's going on around you. Know, and da- danger is dropping in around you at all costs. Ooh, wow. So maybe you Check should you out. maybe you should change your course. <gasps> yeah. Whoa. Oh, geez, so am I. I'm it, kind of a big that deal was, now. That was that was the that was the spiritual version of a mic drop. The card drop. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> nailed it. I don't know how to um, that. So <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. So we kind of talked about how you can contact Tori. Um, just send us a message on the page, or we can direct you over or join our group group chat and mm-hmm. just say hey. Tori, how do I get a reading? And then she'll yeah. she'll respond to you. Um, is there anything else? Well, let's turn on my guest here, Andy. Yeah, yes. please. What do you got to plug? I don't know what to plug for this show because, like, if you're listening to this, stuff, I know everything. You I don't got. like wrestling. But someone, out, someone out there does. Someone in the yeah. comment section did say AEW, AEW, AEW. Hell so yeah. someone all listening right. Somebody, was an yeah. AEW fan. And, and you know, John Moxley goes on Chris Jericho's podcast and they talk about all kinds of conspiracy theories and uh, yeah. cryptids and monsters, UFOs and stuff like that. So there's a lot in wrestling. And if you do like wrestling, why don't you go over to YouTube and subscribe to Outbreak Wrestling? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, it's called Outbreak Quarantine. Yeah. And uh, I have a new match coming. You'll really like it when you get to see it. So I liked it. It was fun. I want to come and see it. Yeah. I'm excited now. Yeah. So here's the thing with Andy. Uh, I'm going to put Andy over real quick. No, my God. You put me over the whole show. We I'm going to do it again. Over. I'm going to do it again. So oh, you yeah, can... what, let me put that card over. You can't. <laughs> oh, the water bear. So the, oh. Andy, Andy is he's a local <laughs> professional wrestler here in Northeast Pennsylvania. He he does wrestle for two major companies right now. I mean, three well, not, uh, for the area. Yeah, for the <laughs> not area. A major like uh, on TV. Out, Outbreak and PPW yes. Atomic Wrestling. Yeah, the time, um, which, is, which we do have a show last Saturday, but it got canceled because he didn't want to deal with the all the yep. outside things. So. Um, also, uh, as well as True Wrestling, you do mm-hmm. some stuff with them. Yeah, but the the big thing is around is right, the Northeast. Of Pennsylvania. Yep. So right before this whole outbreak break thing happened, our quarantine outbreaks the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Andy was actually competing. He was the number one contender, and he was going for the world championship. Yes. My dude. For yeah. for outbreak wrestling, and he would be the company's first. If if he if won, was to win. would would be the first company's two time champion. Yes. I do. So right I, before this whole thing went down, Andy was working his way up to some championship material. I do. Yeah. And then also PPW, <laughs> he went from a guy who kind of lost a lot of matches and was, he was part of a bad the, guy the, stable. Not just the comedy fodder, I guess yeah. you would say. And then turned his perception around because of his hard work. And now he's competing for their television title. Yes. How about that? So we would have had, had our, our match to see. Like, okay, I won the four-way match and now I won a four-way match. right? Yeah. And then me and him, we're going to wrestle and then the winner gets the title shot. Yeah, right. so he was on his way Whoa. to a number one contender shot for a possible for another two title. titles, and then maybe something else. But it's like, yeah. yeah. So there's a few different companies that you know we were kind of going back to his reading where Andy stayed the course. You know, there was some matches just as a, if you're if you're listening and you're a wrestling fan, like Andy was the guy. Like if Gilbert came in, Andy would be the guy to go in and get beat by Gilbert. The, now, the, Gilbert, the Gilbert ball. Ball. I understand that <laughs> Gilbert Gilbert is like a hundred and three old man. <laughs> so Goldberg was this jack dude with a go- goatee, and he was really strong, and he had like one of the longest undefeated streaks yeah. in the wrestling history. This is the Mad Magazine version, and gotcha. he <laughs> is Gilbert, who's the guy who loses to everybody. But now in the independent scene, he beats everybody he, because yeah. it's funny, and he just retired, and he just retired. So oh, okay. Andy had a chance to wrestle Gilbert. So he's kind of a comedy skit in wrestling, but Andy would go out and lose to guys like this because <laughs> yeah, he funny. wanted to, but. Realistically, that match that like, he can't really work with a guy because he's so old. You know, but they put on a great entertaining. It, so, match. so in wrestling, working doesn't just mean like 
I'm doing moves, I'm doing moves. It means yeah. like uh, crowd work, the character, okay. and, and psychology is big in wrestling. And knowing like what is going on, what's the story you're trying to tell. It's physical theater. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot, that's, of, it's, there's it's a lot, a lot of business of that's it. more so than just, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's a whole thing. So you have to be able to work, especially that match. Like You're not going in there and do moves. Cause yeah. He's, but you think he was 63. He's like, well, I'm 63, I don't do too much. I'm like, all right, oh, that's fine. I can yeah. be goofy with you for 15 minutes. Yeah. So if you want to follow Andy, if you are listening to the podcast, yeah. you can check him out on, we every Thursday night, we do a Tornado Tag podcast mm-hmm. right here where you're watching. Well, not right here on Facebook no, we if you're watching. we do it on the 12th floor. This is the 13th floor. Yeah. This is only for so the So if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, you will see it on there, or you can go follow us on Tornado Tag podcast on Facebook that's or true. Twitch if you're watching it here every Thursday night. Uh, and then every other Tuesday. So this Tuesday, actually tomorrow, yes. we will be recording Not Cool in High School. Mm-hmm. And that's where we talk about video games, movies, comic books, everything pop culture. And mm-hmm. that'll be tomorrow night. Same channels as here, except you Facebook, S- go to the actual the page. Same bad time. Same, same bad, bad network. <laughs> um, and you can check Andy out there. He does have pro, uh, merchandise on Pro Wrestling Tees. Yes. You can check out Team Blue and Gold and get. He has uh, T-shirts of him and his tag team partner. Yeah, because he's as, also as doing very. Yeah. He's nice. doing very well in a tag team scene with his partner Andy. Oh, I'm um, so cool. oh, sorry, Matt Turner. Oh, oh, sorry, hey. well, my bad. <laughs> yeah, Matt Turner. <laughs> yeah, uh, Matt Turner. Um, and they do fantastic, and they have really cool T-shirts that you can buy. Yeah, and I'm, right I'm now I'm trying to work on getting one for my single stuff too. Yeah, so. that's so cool. Yeah. So if you want, and, I, and I also want to say, like, as as I'm he like hearing this you for a wrestling shirt, that would be awesome. Yeah, definitely. And I do want to say because I don't know jack shit about wrestling, but mm-hmm. it sounds like from a theater standpoint, I would really like it. Mm-hmm. And now knowing you, so it's like. We, so we took go Nikolai. see people, yeah. like, cause like I can't yeah. wait to see that like, now. It's not just you know fat redneck guys, yeah, kill them, you know. It's <laughs> it's not that, and it, it is more once you learn how wrestling works, it's not just guys and they're faking. We because took that fighting. was my perspective yeah. of it. I was just yeah. kind of like, oh, whatever. And now like hearing this, I'm just kind of like, it sounds like a lot of like what I do, like, yeah. like yeah. so it's, it's just 100%. like it's yeah. it's, such, it's Shakespeare with it's physical Shakespeare. Yeah. Well, like and like with Shakespeare, like we have fight choreography and we do mm-hmm. shit like that all the time. So it's like I'm I it's my eye my third eye has been open to wrestling. Yeah. It, it we, is very, we took Nikolai, uh, who's a theater kid, to yeah. a, his first match where he. Uh, won or no defended no, his yeah, title. Defend, yeah, yeah, defended in, uh, his title against the guy who was the champ, and there was some, there was some skeptical uh, some a skeptical finish on who actually was a champion, mm-hmm. and then he solidified his victory and became that champion, mm-hmm. and he defended his title. Um, Sounds and, like a and, Shakespeare play, right and there. And we took <laughs> we took Nikolai to the event. And uh, Nikolai was like, I didn't think I'd be into this, and this was a cool time. It sounds yeah. And he said he legit so had good. goosebumps when Andy came down because <laughs> oh, he knew so Andy cool. personally. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I'm going to be like. I, I think you will like it just because there's a lot of theatrics. Yeah, I mean, like, that sounds so 50%, fun. 50%. Some guys are 95% theatrics. Yeah, there, awesome. there's some guys who are complete characters. Yeah. That is so exciting. I'm so excited to see you now. That's why cool. I love pro wrestling. Yeah, pro pro wrestling so is fun. like sports it's and a, theater. Yeah, it's a lot of things wrapped into one. That's awesome. It's cool. I love it. Yeah. Go and I also, I also love this physical stuff. Shakespeare. Sounds like a '70s New York punk band from <laughs> from our from our intro music creator Max Bolton. Oh, I know. I'm gonna say more like a '70s alt rock. Yeah. Um, and then just like I'll plug in here. Just check out the links below. Just mm-hmm. give us a follow. Uh, check out everything on the network, and then we'll end here with you. How how do people? You could contact you on Facebook. Yeah. If they want a personal reading, I know uh, Brian Russell in the chat said, "Please, Tori, send me a friend request." Save her the trouble. And I don't her. know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so go to our Truth Beyond Illusion uh, what group if, page. What and if you had a, like a, a big, the big Johnson XX25? What's yeah. your name? So, <laughs> so Brian, head over to the Truth Beyond Illusion mm-hmm. uh, Facebook group page and put in there interested in a, a reading from Tori. Yeah. And okay. she'll and she'll see the message and yeah, she'll and she'll I'll, contact, I'll contact you. Contact you. Awesome. Anything yeah. else in closing you want to talk about? Um. No. <laughs> no. Well, I think I'm good. That's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll close with this. Thank you so much. Uh, now that you're in here, Max, I could say it to you personally. Thank you so much for our intro outro music. Yeah, it's cool. It's yes, cool. Thank um, you, Officer Bolton, for our intro music. You're going you're gonna to hear it in one second live. Um, with your black eyes. Yes. Check, check out our merch page. You can see our merch as, as Tori mm-hmm. is an alien or me as a devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or Max as a black eyed demon. Yeah. Or keep an eye out for what Tori comes up for, for Andy. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. So we'll see what happens, and we'll have a, an put, Andy I'll put it on the side show. of my, my wrestling ties. Just boom, right there. That's yeah. so fun. Yeah. And then, like I said, if you become a guest in the show, you will get uh, a sticker. Mm-hmm. A can't. Well, you Ooh. won't get, but you'll be able to you'll order. You'll be made into. You'll be made into, and That's we'll be cool. able to mm-hmm. order a sticker, a canvas print, so you can get your awesome art done by Tori on a canvas As print a to hang yeah. in your house. Oh, my God. And there's many what? cryptids. It's not just Bigfoot. Yeah. yeah. Um, you'll get the options for T-shirts, hoodies, long sleeves, mm-hmm. and that's it. 
There is more stuff on the <laughs> website that you can it. get. I mean, if you want to order stuff for the show, show we do have leggings, we do have mm-hmm. uh, tank tops, masks, and, right? Yeah, uh, masks. masks for COVID. You yeah. can get a mask. So there's a lot of cool stuff on there. The only thing too is Sport when you sport me ch- as an alien on your face for COVID. Thank yes, you. yeah. That's when you look at the the zip ups, please be mindful. I have to adjust on the website. It's going to say zip up, and the backs are going to look the, exactly the same. For some reason, it shows the back side of the, the, the hoodie. So the zip ups are going to have the main show's logo where it may be just the kitty or it may be uh, the Truth Behind Illusion monster faces. Mm-hmm. But when you click on the logo, flip it to the front because the pocket is what's going to have a different uh, logo on it. So you, it'll have either the, the alien, the devil, it may have the show's name, mm-hmm. or it may have our guest yeah, as so the monster. Yeah, so they're all different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, Which is so, cool. Um, really cool. Once I'm again, order one. thank yes. you guys so, so much for tuning thank in. Thank you so much for all of this. We had a lot it's of so viewers great. here. You guys did fantastic sharing yes. it and hitting the follow yeah, and like awesome. button. Oh, we're so appreciative. That's so nice. Yeah. Uh, we really hope you guys enjoyed the first ever live stream of this show. Oh, we're going yeah. to be doing it more often with the other shows as well. Mm-hmm. We really hope you check it out. And uh, that'll do it here for yeah. Truth Behind Illusion. Illusion. See you mm-hmm. next time. We need smoke coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The truth and behind you.